Another installment of W3 episode 213. You know what I mean. You're damn right. We got the rematch for the W3 Extreme Championship here tonight. A week ago, just a week ago, Rook and Grizzly had one of the most damnedest, bloodiest battles I have ever seen in my life in professional wrestling. They lost leaders i'm saying that plural liters of blood a piece and at the 60 minute mark we did not have a winner and that was after grizzly got beat up in the back by the uprising who have joined the unseed they drank the flavor aid they are in underneath rook's mindset yeah, and it still wasn't enough. That big old grizzly bear, no. that cage fighter from the Yukon, he is, gets another shot and then is inside a steel cage I here was just tonight. About to touch on it. This is home field advantage for Grizzly here tonight. And I'm thinking new champion, Ooh. new extreme champion. Don't forget, Big Dog Rook, Rook won that Extreme Championship inside a steel cage yes, he did. from Punch Tekka. But the other big news coming out of No Man's Th Land 3 is the turn of Shaolin, of everybody on Dub 3 and joining Yokai, joining Akane Komodo Bad Blood and Hikaru, who was not rescued by the tradition. No, no, as they rescued and came so close no and still. Shaolin, the Blood God has joined the dark side and you were talking about those bu buckets of blood spilt during that extreme division match i wonder if that contributed to that power up but what i do know is we were just talking about title changes but in the semi-main event we have the returning new television champion b sisori making her first defense here tonight in the semi-main event against another strong badass siren she is a fucking load and a half one of the strongest pound for pound competitors in any division speaking of skeletons we might see someone fucking burnt to a crisp and left only with bones because we have the extreme division eliminator of the month tonight take a breath big dog oh, why don't you no think goods. about uh why don't you think about how we should open the show but because surely it's not all the extreme action no these guys are gonna be coming in here with guns no they're not true they're not they're not they're not they're not we're probably they'll have weapons they're, they're just hidden in their groinal area Jesus, Nexus. Legend knows exactly who I'm talking about. Well, the light yeah, heavyweight division. I do. The best groinal areas in the company. Well, most of them. Junior heavyweight action on the way. One hot Gemini taking on Aki Man of Das Brunway. We are going to see Munich out here. We are going to see those fancy schmancy leather jackets. And they're going to be looking swell. But who is going to be looking swole after this match with their hands raised in victory legend what is wrong with you tonight one <laughs> two thank god nexus you got here because i feel like i'm in need of rescue three one hot gemini i've been behind this push that i really want him to jump on i want to see him showcase what he can do i really think he's on the cusp of it he had a really solid run building 
right before uh, I kind of had some technical difficulties mm. and went off the air for a bit there, big dog. But uh, I really think if he kept up with it, if he kept with the, up with the training during the yes. break, if he comes back fresh and he comes back ready to not fall into the mind games that Akiman does like to play. He loves to do the bait and switch. He loves to, as we know, swing that dangling. He loves to taunt you, try to throw you off your game, and then make you tap out with that STF. That shut the fuck face lock. It is a rough one, the super hook. And uh, one-hot Gemini definitely needs to avoid that, but he needs 100% to not fall for anything Akiman's doing, but turn it around on him. Gemini loves to play a little cocky games, too. <laughs> Emphasis on cocky. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> the horniest wrestling you have ever seen in your life starts tonight. One hot Gemini and Akiman kicking off the show. W3 episode 213 rolls on. Keep bowling, 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 bowling. No one? Okay. Fuck huh? me, I guess. Yeah. Keep bowling. But not for free. No, no, no. Nothing's for free. Oh, it doesn't feel Holy right. Holy shit. Oh, no. Here comes one hot Gemini. One hot. Fuck. Gemini. His bag smells like pie. What? That's... One hot German, That's interesting. I, That's a... he likes to sweat, but not more than me when I see him do that That right there. Damn it. Yes, the Hans I... Watch Gravy sponsored athlete, One Hot Gemini. I, I legitimately don't like the Hans as much as I, I think they they're right there with Timmy. I think, yeah, well, I take that back. Do you? Because you still haven't left a review on their page for the services they provided your little fingies when they were dirty. Hey, 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 hey. I have big fingies. You do. And little hands massaged between. I'm not going to describe it for all the AS ASMR people. But let's just say that the Hans twins did a lot of work on those giant hands. And speaking of giant hands, they got jackets. Oh, well, yeah, they do. Two of them. That was well struck. Oh my god, Look at dancing. Oh, they're so great. Dancing they're boys. One hot Gemini and Akiman set for singles action. The bell is rung and blue suede shoes gets the call on this one. Look at those fancy, fancy footwears. This is the sexiest match of all time. <laughs> it's damn close. Spinning soul butt right into the bread basket. That is where the bread is kept. Hey, nah. for safety. Oh, another one. Now trying to kick the bread out of his asshole. Leg trip there. I'm on one tonight. Old Big Ducks the King. Oh, <laughs> in You know what, kidding. Legend? His, his tail hasn't stopped wagging since I got here. Oh, I'm big. Big dog. He does love you. Yeah, he's the best. Hey. Ooh, oh, drop, drop kick. kick. Nowhere to go, huh, Big Dog? Nowhere to go at all. Maybe on a walk later. Ooh. Chop there to the chest. I'll take you for a walk, but someone else will have to do the poop and scoop. Ooh, blocked a kick. Well scouted by Aki, man. Hate this bastard. And a Jaguar special. He's welcome. I'm sure he is welcome. A little bit of feeling out process with these two in the early goings of this matchup. Elbow right between the shoulder blades. Ow. You'd think that these guys would just get along and one hot would want to be part of Does Hype Train or something sexier. Nah, man. Because they have, they got the best hips in the game. Nah, man. I, I think they have hip guy heat. <gasps> you think? Yeah, I think they got hip guy heat. It, 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 it's much more, instead of uh, becoming dance partners, uh, they're going to serve up one another. No, and I'm not talking to serve. Yes, yeah, oh, a serve. No. He just got served right in front of us. Dude. Oh, oh my god. god! He's like, ah! Oh yeah, I fucking tear it off! Show that guy's ugly fucking face! Yeah, get him! Get him, one hot! Fucking get him! He can get you. Like that. And then what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when he makes it weird? <laughs> Fucks your toes, big dog. I, not mine. Not my toes. My boys don't come out. They're out right now! Shut up! You never wear shoes. Oh, piece of You're shit. You're always complaining how boy. sticky it is around here. 
Ducks the clothesline oh. and Inzaguri. Oh, and a camel clutch variation sitting way back on the ass. That's a big dumpy that he was sitting down with. A heavy Sorry. load. And a half. Hmm? Trying to humble him. Oh, yep. into the ropes. Ooh, tilt the world. Oh, he's going ten toes to Jesus. Oh, oh no! Jesus in the pool. Jesus he's an atheist now. <laughs> Oh, put it! Oh no! Oh no! Making the it weird, like a real atheist. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. <laughs> oh, drop kick finds its mark right in the heart of One Hot Gemini, but he's up quick. Hell of an athlete, One Hot Gemini is, but he's right back down, narrowly avoiding that bottom buckle there. Oh, something is going oh. on. Naki can't catch his breath. Well, you, you miss a top rope splash. And you fucking find out. No, 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 no. I'm saying something going on, like a dislocated rib, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. I've been there, done that. Yeah, he's hurt. Why do you have to relate so much to Aki? Why can't he just exist by himself? <laughs> nah, man. I'm not giving him this. Oh, okay. man, he is power dance. He is. Power dance. He's doing the power dance. He's trying to heal him. Oh, he keeps going for that lariat, and he has it well scouted, going for the cover. Oh, Aki Man no. in trouble in the early goings of this matchup. I, I don't want to say early goings because he could have ended it right there. The, the problem is that Aki says lariat as he does that, and Gemini can hear him. Yep, and he hears it again. Oh, and this is where Gemini is one of the most dangerous competitors. Oh! <laughs> he grabbed him with oh, his leg. What did he do? No, 2.9. Flipping drop kick? Flipping missile drop kick? That is a hell of a move to aim up. Gravity works differently for him, big dog. True. Because of that dumpy. Now possibly going to the top rope. What does Aki Man have in mind here? No. Beautiful arm drag running up the top rope to capitalize, and he's hurt. Here we go. Maybe his body suit's too tight. You know? I we was ate seeing too him. much over the break. I yeah I. That. He's been eating a lot, a lot of cake, legend. Ooh, what? victory roll two. Handed out like. Oh no! What is this? Ah! Hammerlock DDT. Does he have in mind here? Maybe. Centering him up in the ring. No elbow, and now Aki Man on the run, but he's no. hurt. I think you're right, legend. He might be no, hurt. Holy. Oh, he oh, eats but he... that drop kick for Brecky. He's eating a lot. <laughs> He's trying. I think, I think that might have been his issue. Oh, face oh. first on the victory roll attempt. Oh, He's sliced bread. Sliced bread too. Delicious. He's sending messages to the calf on what he'd like to eat after this match. <laughs> the big boy. A big boy. <laughs> I can't eat that. A big boy. Oh, jumping lariat. <laughs> he's a bigger boy than before. Key <laughs> on now. He's he's Akiing up. Oh, he's going for the cover. What, <laughs> dude? That's... That was his finish. <laughs> the old flexing pin. <laughs> Again with that hammerlock DDT. Now going for the cover. I just think every single bit of everyone was tangled in that ropes. Oh, that was fucking horrifying. What? Blue? Blue, Blue is you a little bit rusty, you bitch. Son of a bitch. What's he got here? Ooh, all the way around town. He should be going for the cover, but I think he's catching his breath. I think so, too. <laughs> oh, 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 what the fuck? Oh. Now, Ten Toes of Jesus got it. He believes again. <laughs> He's not going for oh, that Dave. super hook. I love Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what he He's got gyrating. <laughs> I'm just punching him in his shit repeatedly. <laughs> Munich body gun? Oh, oh cross! <laughs> My one, two, get your ass out of here! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Well, I hope he likes he likes eating all of his food liquefied. <laughs> Paging Dr. Frank, we're going to need a stretcher and an oxygen tank. And a slice of bread. And that was his request. Slice of bread, yeah. That cross on fire powerbomb. Getting the win in 16 wow. minutes. I know. Look at that.
Uh, I wanted a statement from Gemini, and I do believe he made one. Yes, he did. He said, I'm still here. I'm still got... He said, oh. I'm still got? <laughs> Wait, he said, I'm still got? I'm still got <laughs> what? Yeah, I think he got cut off. G-A-C. I'm still got. I think he got yeah, cut off at the end there. I mean, some things you gotta be sorry about, and the two guys coming up in the next match have a lot of things to be sorry about. Oh dog. boy, they do, yeah. don't they? It is time to see what this new rendition of the Uprising has in store. Blackheart and Shaman asked for a match, uh, and were promptly given one, and uh, seeing as there's so many tag teams working tonight, and so many that aren't on this trip, they had to throw together a tag team, and unfortunately... <laughs> It's the, the two guys having lunch. And Jerry Kapowitz. <laughs> well, the two went, guys having lunch. They went in the back and then they knew the young unit had called a meeting, so they knew exactly where to find all these guys and uh, said, hey, get out there. If you're going to be in the building, you're on the clock. Jeez. I, I just don't know how this one's going to go, guys. Uh, the one thing that I do know is uh, it's going to be violent. It's going to probably be pretty violent. I mean, this is all about sending a message here for tonight, Big Dog. Rook is in the main event defending that, that Extreme Division Championship against Grizzly for, in that rematch. So the Unseen is coming out here tonight to let everyone know what is going to happen. Blackheart and Shaman make no bones about it. They are coming out here to hurt Robbie and Jerry. They are coming out here to let everyone know that the Unseen oh. means business and they are in control. And that's what's going to happen later tonight. Well, yeah. <laughs> Grizzly didn't give a fuck about all of that posturing and all of that he didn't. last last week. So, well, that doesn't help Robbie and Jerry, though. All right, no, boys, sorry no it kids. doesn't feel good. They're already out here. You notice Barry's everyone. not going to be coming out to help them out. I don't know where Barry is, and I would like to Probably know. Probably hiding behind a dumpster. I would like to know. Who wants to know? I don't know. He's kind of funny. Funny. You, know, you know he's just gonna use to your words against you in some weird so sexual Oh fuck, 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 yeah, fuck, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. By the way, at the boiler room, Barry was there too. What? He was there? Was he, he was trying there. to recruit you? No, no. No, we've had that conversation and it was very short. <laughs> Punch them in the wiener. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty base. He got so mad, the hot dog fell on the ground and everything. Well, that's why it was taped off as a drawing zone earlier today. I got the fuck out of there. Fuck, they're just as scary. Oh no. Like, Roberto. Like, he, was, <laughs> He's wait. walking him down. No! <laughs> what are you doing? You just got full named by a man who's very well traveled. Uh oh. 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 And we already seen the layout knee from Blackheart. Put your hands up. Robbie, you know, if he used to come out here ready to fight, but don't you feel like he's just lost a lot of his spirit? I think he's lost. Yeah, I think he's going to lose his fucking head real quickly. Oh, God. Oh. Stretch Muffler. He's got him all muffed up. And for those of you who weren't with us in No Man's Land 3, everybody noticed Dick Patty O'Malley in the new shape he had. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, he's trying to kill oh, him. Robbie. Oh, no. That's it. He can't even make it. <laughs> Whoa! That was beautifully done. Oh no. I think they're gonna take pleasure in this. I don't think they're gonna try to end this anytime soon. Oh god, he's got a power power. What they say? Oh no, Robbie. Robbie, make the tag. Robbie, make the tag. Hot tag. Hot tag. Oh no. They've never worked together on anything. They've never practiced oh double team moves. God. They don't know what to do. Oh, oh no! God. Oh my God! That leg drop was dropped across his nose. Jobber life means nothing to the uprising, and I guess we could call him the unseen now. Oh! Fuck. Oh! Oh no! You went the wrong oh. way. He was distracted by MIB. <laughs> MIB just showing everyone how sexy he is and how little he cares about it. God damn it again! Oh, oh. oh. Jerry, get in there. Yeah, go. No, no, Jerry. <laughs> oh. Robbie, don't come. 
Robbie, don't. Robbie, he's, don't. Just... He's, oh, he hit him in the wiener. Go, oh my go, 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 go. He hit him in the ding-dong. That, that's what I did to Barry. He watched my tape. <laughs> he was in <laughs> Now, he's just gonna die. No! Because what? Gonna be you guys. He broke it up. They're gonna try, man. They were sitting at catering, but they're gonna try. Well, if some of that mac and cheese comes up, just be ready, Jeremy. Oh my not god. No, not again. Uh, uh. Have oh, god. Oh, god. oh god. He kicked! He oh. kicked out! He did! He did! Don't give up on your dreams, everyone! Oh! I thought he was gonna get them both. I thought, I thought so too. I thought this was a bowling pin transaction. <laughs> Look, Look at them. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know how to coordinate. J Jerry counting real fast to get back in the ring, <laughs> doing Dick's job for him. It's like one, two, three, oh, four, five. No. Okay. Oh, no. oh no! Blood sacrifice. Is he gonna bring it up? <laughs> he is. Do it, Jerry. You you do, you get back where you came from, Jerry. No need oh, for your offense. Strike, and he's gonna line him up for the leg. Please end this! Wow. Don't do this! Oh. Please be nice to him! <laughs> oh my god. Barry, we need you! He threw one up! Oh! bitches! Oh my god, no! Whoa. Ooh, side no. Well done. Why did he approach? Oh fuck, two sweeper! Oh, oh my no. god, stop it! <laughs> okay, I think that 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 that's enough, right, Blackheart? Oh, no, no, nope, no. Nope, nope. He wants her. Oh, God. Blackheart's so excited. Oh, my oh, God. Well, no. get them both. Oh. <laughs> he landed on the calves of Jerry Kaplowitz. <laughs> I don't want to know what that feels like in any of oh, my no, life. Oh, no, 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 again. Oh, my God. No, you can't. Apparently, those ropes are unseen. <laughs> oh, this is what you get. God damn, blood sacrifice. Butt sacrifice? Blood, not butt sacrifice, you weirdo. That's what you're thinking about. That's telling. And I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, Don't, tell. Don't tell! Don't <laughs> tell! I'm already in trouble for many things. Oh my god, he just butterfly suplexed him on the fucking... <laughs> on his partner. Alright, here's the switch. Yep, here we go. I want to do something cool. Here. Knee strike. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> his fancy fancy kick that he does every once in a while. He's like, yeah, sure, let's get it in. I need to get all of it in today, baby. <laughs> I'm wearing really nice jeans. I can pull off this kick. Hey, Gerald, I saw that. You look ripped, man. Nice oh, hair. Oh, <laughs> no. He's going to kill him. <laughs> oh. Legend, what do you think of Mr. Kicks? I think I think he's, he's very pale and sweaty. Oh, no, his legs. Oh, there we go. That's got to be it. No! Oh, God. <laughs> Trying to avoid a guillotine. <laughs> oh, he did! Oh, my God. He did! Oh, oh no! Oh. What is he doing? One second! No! <laughs> <laughs> he slipped off the he grease of Carol that. Kicks! That, that grease! That grease school! <laughs> From Gerald kicks for once in his fucking oh life. God, He's God, so good. <laughs> I've never seen a man slip out of being sacrificed. <laughs> Thank you, Gerald kicks. One, two. No, he kicked. You feel the power of the kicks, don't you? <laughs> oh <sacrifice>. no. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe he slipped out of it, man. He's like, nah, man, I'm not, I'm good. I don't want to. I have to take that this, this whole time, you just think Gerald oh Kicks is just God. a sweaty individual. It is a weapon of mass destruction. Oh, God. He's so greedy. 
You're doing well, Gerald. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, catch and release. He's like, I have to One, the whole two, three. No. See? Never give up. This is what Barry's been teaching them. No matter how much pain and numbness goes through your spine. A lot. I think it's suspicious they're picturing Barry's face on the upright. They're just fighting for everything they're worth. It's just... You know, mostly kicking out, but still, that's more than most of them have ever done. No, they're hey. they're... They're fighting. They're fighting for their lives. Possibly their careers, yeah. which I know that means more to them than their lives. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, again. Oh, the joystick! Oh, no! He fucking left with it. When are they gonna put them down? Oh, god. Oh, he sh oh no, he shit his pants, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, don't, look. don't look. Jerry. That's embarrassing. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> As if this wasn't embarrassing enough for them, you had to point out the brown in his blue. What the fuck is he gonna do? Oh no! Oh no! Butterfly, and it was beauty. Oh! Turnbucky! Trap! He's, oh. Even Turnbuckle Travis oh is trying God. to help! <laughs> and that Turnbuckle dances, big dog. He's got to be thinking Brain Buster. Well, okay, that's a Brain Buster. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. You can pick him all the way up, Blackheart. You can give him a proper One, power two. bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What do you think Rook's doing right now? <laughs> Having a great time. Oh, look how pumped up Robbie is. Here comes the hot tag. He's bouncing around here like a professional wrestler a second ago. Well, he's gonna walk. He's just gonna walk head first in the oh! lion's den, dude. Oh, I think he just tried he's to get Blackheart. So bold. <laughs> he's like, right. This is the longest oh. match of my career. Suplex. He might be going up top for that double knees, or he wants to hurt him more. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, I guess he's gonna kill him. Yeah. Oh. Fucking shit. M M M I B M M B is like it when he sing me. <laughs> I can't Here talk. My brain's out of sorts. Oh, he Whoa. gave him a little skittly pat right there. <laughs> He's going for well, that. You know, God damn, a donkey well, If there's kick. one thing you you know you should know about Robbie is that he loves running and he loves to see people run. Sometimes he gets tripped. But he enjoys Power running. There we go. That's One, it. One, two. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this is just a cruel fucking joke. No, that now. was the finish. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Ten thousand bits. Will Ten thousand. That's more than the number that's there. Brain pasta, sweet chocolate. I want him to hurt. Like my brain. <laughs> He's oh. like, in this match, yes, he, he, oh he, he called and he's like, I need not. to not see this. Absolutely not. Valiant <laughs> effort. Dick Patty O'Malley grows a conscious and he realizes that Robbie <laughs> Chowkis is going to be murdered in the ring. He's like, he didn't even what? look down. No. <laughs> I'm not going to be impartial to this. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that was an ass beating and a half. Holy but wow, fuck. the fire that the Jerry and Robbie is showing. Uh, you say inspired by Barry. I say inspired despite the God Barry. damn. Mounted elbow. It was one elbow. After that first elbow, they were like, mm, no, we're calling this match. Absolutely not. Sweet money, milk it. But oh my god. At the same time, we did say it would, be, it would be a prelude to set the tone for tonight's main event of Rook vs. Grizzly, and it almost set a sequel from what we saw from them last week, which was just an hour long display of violence, of, of the Hell. uprising that we know, and then just. Just hurting people, not not going for the win like they were, just going for the hurt. Well, I know, and I cannot wait for this next match. This match <laughs> is gonna be incredible. Oh, I'm so excited! Tell me more about it. We're going Go. back to the junior heavyweight <gasps> division. Oh, oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. And look, oh, that's where that smelly onion boy is. And and and. It's interesting because 
Lamasker, I've been hearing during this whole break that Neurosis was training his ass off and with members of the W3 roster. And we figured out who that is. Uh, a, a fellow countryman, Lamasquerade, is training Neurosis. I think maybe a little bit of that classic luchador action, that classic luchador um, uh, power moves would help Neurosis kind of round out his game. Maybe he got some of that in his uh, in his two month absence, his two month training, and uh, he's gonna have a chance to use it here against somebody who he has met time and time again uh, before they even met in W three. Troy Constantine, legend. Yeah, absolutely, Big Dog. I think this is great for Neurosis. We've seen a few of the UCW competitors make the statement, make the, yes. make the move that they want to integrate into the Dub 3 roster, not to be the the UCW outsiders, but more like how the cell block, more like how EPW has integrated, become part of the roster. Uh, you've heard that expressed from Siren. You've heard that expressed from Axe Laveau. Baron Reginald has already integrated very well into the tradition, and why not Neurosis? Finding it's almost, almost his own tradition. Yeah, uh, right. The tradition of the luchador sorts. The Masquerade, absolutely one of the most longest tenured wrestlers here on the roster, aside from maybe Master Fuji and Table Saw Tommy, I believe. But who who's better learning tree to sit under? And especially when you've got Doskerade, his younger brother, right there to train with. That that's someone right there. You've got hands-on experience and also someone who could keep up with you and get, and go and you could practice all this stuff in the ring. Neurosis is only gonna get better and I really love to see him becoming part of the roster. Because on the other side of the ring we have somebody who's just being ostracized from the roster because of being gaslit and lied to and suckered in by this 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 this, this stupid man this Your stupid ugly man barricaded oh, <laughs> his smelly Tim Curtin friend and then what they're doing what God, they're doing and everything everything that they started they got jerry and robbie who were out the match before those are the guys that barry was saying he was standing up for at the beginnings of this. oh yeah that at the beginnings of this and now no, it's all about him he's not there and it's all about him and it's all about troy troy is the face he's the poster child for his whole movement he's a legitimate competitor every time you see troy have a little snap where his freaking brain starts to come back barry blames it on somebody else mm. he's doing everything he can to keep troy all well suppressed. he will he he should because I want my Troy boy back. On the as you mentioned, legend on the opposite side of the ring, uh, Neros is sitting under that learning tree, and and there is no better place to sit for for Neurosis. But on the other side of the ring, for Constantine is a uh, is shitting under the learning tree yeah. of Barry Cade, and that's why he's stinky. Let's head to the ring for some more junior heavyweight action. How long have you been sitting on the toilet on that one? Big Ooh, time? about three minutes, because Legend kept going. And, you know, you got to well, really... Someone had to give good analysis. You had, to, <laughs> you had to hammer it in there that that's what you were going to say. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened, huh? Then why is my shirt off? I'll put it back on. Oh, shit. How that open? I don't know. Nothing get happened. Up. Come on. Get up. Oh, is it going to be over? Is it over? Is Barry uh, over? Is he? Oh, hey, no, fuck, he's not. Why does he take his shirt off when he comes out here? I don't know. But then he puts it back on. And why doesn't he wash the shirt? He can make a shirt that says onion. He doesn't have to rely on an eight-month stain. I think it's the principle of the matter. <laughs> I hate principles. They're not your pals. No. Let's bring your dad to work day. That's it. That is a dude suit. Is it? Not a dad I suit. I can't see from over <laughs> here. Dads wear suits. Dude suits. It's from our distributor south of the border, La Los Hermanos Trejo. Yes. <laughs> Dude, suit shopping up the south. South, yes. south, 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 south. Fuji does not go down there, so even he needs other. <laughs> oh my God, it's Lenoros. Oh He's even taking the name. <laughs> <laughs> now, if there's one thing Some that I hope Neurosis does not learn 
from Masquerade that Doskerade has learned is to don't run into the turnbuckle. It's just not a, it's not a thing. And we keep seeing it happen. So Neurosis, as long as you're not doing that, this is going to be a beautiful part of your professional wrestling journey. Shot right to the top of the head. This music is crazy. It's like I know this music from somewhere. Uppercut there. You hear music? I hear the crowd. Oh, go behind that beautiful neck breaker there. He doesn't hear me though. He hears music. <laughs> Body slap. Oh it's no! Not. He's going for it right now! Barry, what do you think? You don't, do you? To the corner, elbow strike, and he throws him out. Top rope, no, middle rope. Dropkick, incredible footwork there by Neurosis. Lord Troy almost ended up as the ridiculous. Oh! oh. Right the outside. Careful, there's still some Gerald grease over there. <laughs> they try Jeremy tried his best to mop it up, but he kept looking at me like, it's not working. It's he not kept working. slipping and getting up and slipping and getting up. Jeremy, it's okay. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. It was pretty impressive. It kind of looked like he was break dancing <laughs> for a second. I think Jeremy has been a b-boy in his I, life for a time or two. I threw my change at him. Change. change. Oh, no. I should have saved it for Grizz. <laughs> He's going to be so mad. No, I will not keep you my money. Drop kick oh! the outside into the Gerald Grease. Oh no. Three. Snap suplex. Oh, I think his left leg bounced off the uh, the under support of the ring. That looked rough. <laughs> that will play into this matchup going forward. Do you think we have these maxi pads to soak up the jail grease? As many of them as you could find within like a five mile radius. <laughs> okay. Do the Will you guys Jeremy, be professional? Let... I'm just trying to see two guys fuck each other up in their shits. Oh, okay. Pardon us, big dog. <laughs> How dare we interrupt your shit fucking adventure? It's my new video game I have coming out. <laughs> Expect a PC port in May. Whoop! Up next here. Back suplex. They're going for the cover. One, two. Two count only there as Barry Cade looks on, just basking in the grease. He is the grease. He, un he understands this game. <laughs> The Grease game, he's he's been in it. He won with the Grease. Accept it, part of life. Yeah. Suplex there. He's got that guillotine leg drop that he likes to finish with. He also has a uh, half Nelson driver that he also uses. Might see a guillotine leg drop here shortly, and maybe in the semi-main event for that uh, for that oh, television oh. championship. Oh, Perhaps that was the old Troy. A quick Drudus effect into a Troy pin. Did you see that? Did you see that, Big Dog? I did see it. Okay. Whoa. Because I look at you, and sometimes you just have your phone Top in your rope. hand, and you're looking at pictures of yourself. Ooh! Hurricane Rana, one, two! No, and sometimes you got to make the shelf. Just make yourself look good. You know. Two! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> now, if he had hooked the leg... Yeah, if from a standing won. position, that'd been impressive. I would have given him kudos on that one. Kudos? I'll take some. Stomped him in the wiener. Into the oh shit, to the One outside. Minute. He's Whoa. lining up. Whoa. Oh, Tonilo right out in front of us and now going to work on the legs. I, mean, I think he didn't take Seven. that little blue right back. That's a Someone quick count. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Just dropped I, Troy yeah, right out of his brain. I don't, uh, I don't know what the hell that was. Wait, in front of us, I swear I heard it rattling for a second. It was like a... Oh, man. I, I can't even explain that move. It's a sit-up. Oh, fuck. Leg drop. Guillotine. Leg drop off the top. Hooking the leg. Neurosis wants the win, but just oh, not. Close. Yet. I really thought he had that. But Troy was on wheels after after getting that driver on the outside the hardest part big dog oh scoop power bomb out of nowhere beautiful counter is it enough oh. no it is not constantine still in this matchup no oh, he went for another kick oh his brain is doing circles and that is it constantine really falling apart at the end there fool me once shame on you fool me twice yeah. i've lost the match fool me twice uh you can't get fooled again. <laughs> Five straight wins for Neurosis. Jay Delbel, the record keeper here. That's a that's a uh, that's a big old win in the column.
of Neurosis there. That powerbomb counter is so good. He went for seconds. Constantine really dropping the ball at the end there. Maybe having to deal with a, maybe a little bit of a, a mean, head drop on the outside. Right out in front of us, big dog. Dropped directly on his brains. If, if it happened in Murder Corner, he'd be dead. I think the tutelage of someone so well-seasoned is going to be the key fact for Neuros. Just keep an eye on him moving up the division standards. I plan to, big dog. But speaking of well-seasoned, Kyle, too. Kyle, too. Kyle, too. Is standing in the back. We've got the tag team fight for the fifth coming up, and it looks like we got some warm-ups going on. You know how I like to see watching the oh, guys. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to get in trouble one day. <laughs>
trying to start shit. They are absolutely right kicking them while they're down. We know how Joe operates. The true colors of that man have been on display since the moment he has stepped into a W3 ring. But sometimes, sometimes you just got to hear him talk the way he talks. Or maybe he could just, I don't know, not say anything. The guys have been suffering enough. But Yoshi's stepping up to challenge Joe Yoshi's. to a match next week. But uh, with that little glimpse into Fuji and Yoraki, I can't even imagine the Yoraki, the, the guilt Yoraki is feeling right now. But they have to be able to get through this. They have to be able to fight through. And I hope Talon's words were enough to rally Richard and Baron, and maybe even seeing Yoshi just about pick a fight, sometimes that's enough to get the adrenaline pumping and get you out here and get you right where you need to be for this fight, big dog, because this is a fight for the fifth right here. Yes, it is. And, and Hanzaman and Black Ninja, the Chanel Bros, incredible competition. In fact, just standout supreme athletes. And if they do have their head somewhere else, Legend... It's going to come back to bite them in the ass. They have to stay the course. They have to stay the game. In fact, still talent is coming out here. Still talent is going to be in their corner. Usually it's Master Fuji, but Master Fuji seems to be preoccupied. Legend. I mean, I think Steel Talon's keeping on the hands-on approach that he has had in the last last few weeks. The, the accountability, the realizing that the tradition is his responsibility. And he needs to be out there taking care of business and taking care of what's going on. If they're going to have any hope in hell in getting Hikaru back, that means supporting Richard. That means supporting Baron. That means supporting Yoshi. And that means supporting Yoraki. And that means being out here. You, came, you heard his rallying speech. You heard he's trying yep. to focus them. And then and then Sumo Joe threw a monkey wrench into that. That could either focus them further or throw them right back off the rails. So Talon's going to come out here and make sure he does his damnedest to keep them focused. But you know who else saw that exchange? Hanzo Mon yep. and Black Ninja. Yes, the Shinobros were backstage too, warming up. And it's kind of shitty to take advantage of someone's situation, but it would be really it, also it, stupid. It, it, it's an opening. It's an opening. to realize that the two of them are thrown off Even their it, game a little bit. And if you can rattle an opponent's, like the tradition, who are usually so solid with their wrestling, with their mat skills, Big Dog, this is an opening for the Shinobros. And I'm sorry, they have to take it. As sorry as you might be, Hanzo and black ninja need to dial in they have an opening it's there it has a it has a big red red x painted on it take the shot while it's there you have to with the quality tag team that is going to be in the ring with them i can't wait for this one this one's gonna be awesome let's get to the ring plus they're sneaky ninjas the whole point of being a sneaky ninja is you catch people off guard so sneaky This is going to be interesting. Is it? I, I, because I'm, I'm, I'm... What do you think is going to happen? In the back of my mind, it's something that you touched on. What Joe said could derail them, or it could inspire them. I don't think You're right. Joe gives a shit what it does to them. He was in the tradition. Oh, no. He knows how these guys think. He said what he had to say. He I just didn't said even what think he, he was going to say anything. Exactly. Yoshi didn't say anything. Yeah. I don't know about that. I, I don't, don't think he would have. I don't know about that. I think that that was very deliberate, personally. I think he said, don't come for me unless I send you for you. Whatever it is, whatever the case may be, this is going to be a hard-fought match for the tradition, not only physically, but mentally. They're, They're so happy so to be. You want to, talk, you want to talk about the being pumped up, big dog? Look at them. That was That's a great scene. Oh my god, they're so intense. They're so mad. They're so he, he mad. Said, he said he likes us in the tradition. Let's let's we take a couple of laps. The Baron is actually doing the reverse of Fuji and taking off his suit to start the match. Unreal. Right. Everyone's being taught different things by that man. He has a very relaxing voice, by the way. The There's meditation must really work with Yoraki. He's such an eclectic group. Kick to the midsection there. Stomp on the midsection, trying to take the breath away from Hanzomon early. Hell of an athlete, a speedster in the ring, and one of the most dangerous strikers. But Brakowski not letting up. 
I don't know if he saw the tag. Oh, but he tagged him right on the chin with that hook kick. Super kick from miles behind Brakowski, just whipping that heel right into his mush. Oh, no. It's impressive, the flexibility, the, the ability of all four of these individuals in the ring, and even, you know what, Blue Sway. Yeah, I mean, if you have to put him over just because you're contractually obligated, because yeah, he's one of your cowboys, then He's a yes. good dude, he's a good dude. He's, he's a also, good man. He's, he's a shoe guy. Listen, he, he has his moments where he doesn't see legs under the rope, and sometimes it's when the tradition is wrestling, so we'll just see how this match goes. I'm not going to shit on him, but I just did. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. Aaron Redfield getting his first taste of action in a long time, two months. Kick sure to the midsection there. I'm sure he's kept very in shape, you yeah. can tell. Elbow strike to the back of the neck and a punch to the face. Already closed fist for uh, for Baron Reginald. Usually he goes to that uppercut first. It's not really his game. Throwing hands, but maybe uh, maybe a little off his game. Maybe what Joe said did rattle. Kick to the head. That for sure rattled him. Arm drag it there. Arm drag takedown. Pulling him more towards the center of the ring. Trying to avoid the ropes. Rope breakage. All that. Five minutes gone. Off into the corner. Baron Reginald with a head of steam. No, opting to make the tag instead. There's an uppercut. Drop toe hold. Jaguar defense there. Block the kick and delivers a gut kick to his own. And then going to the eyes. Brakowski maybe reverting to a little bit of the uh, classic Brakowski tactics. Going to back to what you know. He's just pissed off, big dog. He's very pissed off. Very. They, they can stay as grounded as they can, but there's going to be moments, especially during a match, where maybe you get slapped a little silly, and you might want to just play a little dirty in return. And you know what? That's why Talon's Absolutely. out there, to make sure that they can kind of relieve some steam, but not lose focus. Oi! Just what? That uppercut landing, but Hanzo Mon again with the striking proficiencies. Tag to Sir Baron Reginald. Oh, stomp there. Now he's going to take advantage. Look at that teamwork. Excellent teamwork by the tradition. Beautiful. Dragon screw arm whip there by Hanzo Mon. You see Baron trying to cut off the ring, but Hanzo's so fast. He's keeping him close, but that drops Baron Reginald. And I don't think that he's in... Oh, Talent is not fond of that. No, he's Man. afraid of the water. He once saw a shark. Damn right. Ooh, poor From a distance. Tag yeah. there. Another dragon screw arm whip right into just a flurry of punches from Black Ninja, who is the legal participant of this matchup. Beautiful takedown there. Now, they were so fast, I didn't even see the tag. Kicks to the midsection. Oh. Oh, look at this, back and Working forth. incredibly well in the corner. Black Ninja, dangerous from every single angle, and they tried to cut him off from every one of those angles that he can strike from. Which is every angle, really. So much math. Yeah. A lot of math, isn't it? Bow and arrow lock there. Surprised he didn't float over to the pin on the break. Next snap there. Baron looking to Ooh. get the crowd hyped up for uh, Richard to get some strength going, to get the, some butts going. I saw that. He was so polite about it. He, he didn't want to interrupt the crowd. Weirdly enough, I think Black Ninja on that drop kick that caught pay dirt hard right underneath the jawline of Rakowski. I think he overcommitted on the pin and rolled him over. <laughs> when he had too much momentum going into a pin, too eager to try to get that win early. And I think he... he Old Brikowski almost on top of him. We've all been there. I'm going for the cover. Now that's a proper yeah, pin. Yeah. That's not the worst thing. <laughs> but when you have to roll him on you, that's just like you just say no. If he's not gonna feel Ooh. like covering you, then you shouldn't force it. That looked like a liver shot, honestly. No, it might have been but, immediately into a in a weird naked choke. I don't know, when Hanzo when Baron does it, it's not so weird. If anything, it's no, just that's proper. Know. 
Like Mild, he just, mildly he just. clothed choke. There. Double suplex oh, there. No. Bit odd though. Bit a odd naked bit. choke. A bit wonky. <laughs> a bit wonky naked choke. It's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> so <laughs> it. Roll through right there, no. Not even enough for a one count. Squirrely oh, is oh, today, oh, but he might be put oh out. God. Might be put out to pasture. Jeez, that kick was nasty. Okay, you saw him to shake his head real quick and try to make a tag to Baron gets in. And Baron shouts out to his mom real quick Ooh. before he gets into this double team. She's lovely. She lovely person. Lovely. The Lady Reginald. She used to wrestle, you know. One, Way back. Two. Way back in the day. For the queen. For the queen herself. Hmm. Now I'm trying to cut Baron off. Back to see. Oh my god, right in the midsection drops him. I think we might be getting some liver shots here. Because he is dropping face first after all of these kicks. Shots, 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 shots. No, not in this particular certain circumstance. Oh, oh in Ziggy. <laughs> from the hands. Get a little more to the left next time. Yeah, just a little bit. What am I saying? True. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on, Richard. Here we go. Push him to th come on, you got this. Remember Hanzo? Uh, <laughs> Missed the kick, saving Moonsault. One count there for Hanzo Mon's attempt. Rick is feeling it. No, leg sweep there. Well done. And the double knees. God damn, that has to hurt. No! Top rope. Fist oh! drop right to the midsection. Damn. Yeah, a little a little high. Yeah. The old brick would have aimed a little lower. Yes, the old brick would. Slaps there. Just one, two palm strikes. God, that must be so disrespectful. <laughs> Just to take two quick slaps to the face like that. Oh, burying the knee straight into the midsection of Black Ninja. Got kicked in the face, and he pays back that receipt. God damn. That's the problem. If you're going to pin one of the Shinobros, you know how quickly the other one's going to get in there? You're going to have to make a tap. Now Getting go to work on the hamstring. Getting a submission victory here really is the only option. Count there, 20 minutes into it. We have maybe not even seen a two count. We might get a three right here. One, two, oh, need him right in the mush. And then again, a second one. And then chassis Jab belt locked in. Chassis no belt key. in the PM. There is no key for that chassis belt. I've checked. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. I don't even know how he gets that leg in the position. Go behind Enzigiri. All four men in the ring. We gotta get some semblance of control here. Double power bomb, and again, go into the hamstring. I think it's got a target on it. They have targeted in on the hamstring, possibly, of Black Ninja. Now, isolating. Looking to take away that Senton Atomica seems like a good idea to me. Yes. It's critical the number of people here. Oh, three. oh, we can still throw the legs though, no problem. Roll through in the stomp, classic Brukowski. You always would get deep in those guts. <laughs> as you see right now. Definitely Boy. special with the little spice. <laughs> got it. Oh, he's now. riding like a surfboard. And then stomp to the asshole. Oh my God. Hanzo Mon, a little bit cocky coming into this matchup. You know, he's always been cocky. Yeah. I'm glad oh, well. you noticed. <laughs> Saw that leg yeah. snap there. Oh, no. Fed him. The leg force feeding him. Speaking of force feeding. Uppercuts to forearms here. Baron Reginald drops him, but he has taken a beating in this contest. <laughs> Tagging the Black Ninja. Putting in a good shift. Black Ninja. Oh. Looking to set up something. Springboard, no. Didn't like the looks of it. The lay of the land was not right to, to take flight. Haha, <laughs> that run. 
sure did. I am good at that. You're my new rap album. Bow and arrow lock locked in. The ropes need drop. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Super kick. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, I thought he was gonna go up. I did too. It'd be a long distance to get that uh, that Sinton, that Sinton Atomico from the top. Not out of his, oh, no, not, not out, out of his range. <laughs> Maybe with the uh, the leg work that has been going on in this matchup, just enough to uh, to second guess himself. I mean, this match is coming up to the 30 minute mark. The legs are not going to be fresh regardless, and he's been in there with technical wizardry. Pretty cool team name. <laughs> Go behind there. No transfers to the ankle lock. Well done by Brakowski. Wow. Did you see that? Hanzo mm -hmm. kicked his plant leg out to escape from that. Able to get to the ropes. That was amazing. Well, Hanzo definitely benefited from that uh, tournament of steel when he actually did implement a it's lot right more here. technical, exactly, a lot more technical and a lot more submission based maneuvers into his repertoire. So another one influenced, not fully directly, but but also by the teachings yes. of Steel Town oh, yeah. and the tradition. I, I, I <laughs> hesitated to weigh in on that earlier. Oh, two piece combo there. But yes, also. he his his turnaround was at the was at the tournament of steel. Also, he took his shirt off. Hell yes, he did. It was so much easier to find out then. Yeah. 450! Whoa. Got it! Vader, that is going to change the matchup going forward. Shane Elberho is working extremely well together, taking out the tradition. Oh, he's getting payback. And Perrin has woken oh, up. Oh, that might have pissed him off. What is oh, this? Oh, boy. What is this? Oh, damn. <laughs> That could have been uh, it right there. Uh, Timely uh, save. Beautiful. Side steps. God, everyone's moving so fast. Right? I keep Boy. forgetting who's legal. Thank you, Kyle, Go for through. paying attention. <laughs> now trying to move in on him before he can get up and make the tag. Maybe a double team opportunity here. No. That leg drop. High altitude leg drop from the standing position. He was at a... <laughs> One more score to settle with. Frank, oh, here we go. No, no. Okay, there's the opening right there. Hanzo, the legal man of the match, was going to the top rope. He was perfectly set, and Black Ninja not having the the wherewithal to realize oh, what? it. What? What? Hanzo just cartwheeled out of the way of his drink of Bukowski. This guy is one of the best athletes in wrestling, period. But he wasn't looking at him. That was amazing. Oh! oh. Oh. 450 lands on the lower back, but he might have smashed his face. A little bit of an over rotation. What? <laughs> <laughs> Drop kick, and Hanzo is feeling it. Double stomp to the midsection. Jeez. He's like, come on. <laughs> Missed Whoa. the kick. He's cheating. Balls of brass! Pin up, pin up, pin up. <laughs> Richard really is not used to using those balls. No. <laughs> the rusty balls. The <laughs> rusty balls. <laughs> oh. Three successive strikes. Go behind, no elbow to the back of the neck, and then a stomp yeah, to the back of the head. Oh no, locking it again. That submission hold. That could very well be it. Richard gave Baron all the time he could. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, fuck, boy. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at a loss of words. That was nasty. Yeah, you can kind of see everyone gathered around Black Ninja there. I think they're a little concerned. Baron might have torqued a little hard on that one. <laughs> God damn. Oh, dear. Did I put a bit too much pressure? You were right. No, it was fine. It was, right. it was good. <laughs> It was good, Barry. It was very, very fancy. <laughs> Remember, don't trust people that laugh like that. We're going to move on into the night. The midway point, we are finally dipping our toes 
in a heavyweight division singles matchup here. And we have suplexes versus elbows. Fez taking on Wu Fang in singles action. These two know each other. This is going to be a hell of a contest, Fez. The best suplexing wrestler I've seen in, in, in eons. Maybe, maybe, maybe the Schneiders are up there in his level against Wu Fang. You know, that he's just Dude. incredible to watch. He, he he is a proficient striker, proficient technical wrestler. He even can do a little bit of flying. This is one of the most well-rounded wrestlers to ever grace a professional wrestling ring. And Fez is going to have to find a way to, to dump him right on top of his head. He's done it plenty of times. He's going to have to do it again here, Nexus. What do you think about this match coming up? Well, this is an important match, Big Dog, because Fez hasn't been in the top of the heavyweight division for a little, little while. And if you recall, he kind of exploded into the heavyweight division, especially after that eight-man scramble. All of a sudden landed him as the number one contender last year. He's currently sitting at that number six spot, and Wu currently sitting at that number four spot. Everyone wants a shot at Bull Jameson. Everyone yes. wants that heavyweight championship. That is the belt to grab in this company at this point in time, held by that man. And both of these men can take Bolt Jameson down, but one of them has to give in here. Fez's submissions, honestly, I think will better Wu. I know we always try and... I mean, I mention Wu Fang whenever I possibly can, because to me, when I think Dub 3, the first person I think of is Wu Fang. That's true. But when I see Fez, I think EP, e, EPW. I yeah. think revolting. I think... Not in a bad way, but in the way that... Just to re revolt against the norm. And... Especially with his new hair. Have you seen Fez's new hair? He looks great. He's he's let it he kind of let it grow out a little yeah. bit. I think he's ready for kind of like a see a new season of Fez, if you will, after that two month break. Possibly. And and you know I'm sorry, like Wu, we haven't seen him in action that much either. And Fez to me takes me as someone who's constantly suplexing anyone he sees, regardless of if it's inside of this building or not. And that will be the advantage here. You people keep counting. Those suplexes, I believe the All number right, will hit yeah. 28. You're you're guessing 28 suplexes in this match. 28. Matchup. All right. Well, let's I'll go count. ahead and head down to the ring. Keep tally. Wu Fang and Fez in heavyweight division singles action. He does look really great with that hair. It's more wild. It's just seeing. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm just gonna let it grow. Still same attitude though, Nexus. All business. This man's never smiled in his life. I mean, I've seen him smile, but it's usually when someone's just about to pass out because he's got them in a vice grip. That's about it. Yep, you're right. Look at that. Look at that shining head. Mine? Thank you. No, Dick Patty O'Malley. He's like you now. Oh, he's like me now. Yeah, thank you. There he is. A very polarizing polarizing figure to say the least one of the most naturally gifted competitors in w3 in any division former multiple time heavyweight champion he's got to find his way back to the top of that mountain Wu is a patient man but patience has to be wearing thin for a lot of these guys at that top division yeah and oh, oh my fun. god one there's one already, and we're only twin sec t uh, 20 seconds What's into this matchup. Twin seconds. Twin seconds. Two. Two. Elbow strike there. Now, you don't want to trade like that. Wu sends him to the outside and gather himself. Is he going to? No way. Wu's going to go to the air this early? He is. Five. Springboard ah. cross. Well, slingshot cross body block. Seven. Now, Wu, <laughs> Wu has his hands full, too, because those elbows, those forearms, are going to have to hit and break that thick neck of Fez. Yeah, Fez ain't got no neck. Got no neck. Elbow to the back of the neck. Oh, he found it. And a neck breaker. Look at that. He broke Exposing it. He found it. it and broke it. Snap mare over. Can't call that a suplex, but in, so, in, in, in some regions, it might be considered. Oh, this is going to be a suplex. Well done. My God, but Wu. Almost using the, the momentum of being slammed down to ride up. Yeah, there's a certain part of the Wu Fang that we see in that ring that just 
He kind of, you know, he has a temper, and I don't think oh, getting thrown no! around like a bag of trash or being thrown around like a bag of trash probably makes you a little angry. Back and forth. Those elbows, punches, landing heavy, but Wu Feng wins out on the wall on that one. That is his playground. Fez needs to keep it to a wrestling match and a suplexing contest. Ooh. My God, five. Dick showing us the business. <laughs> oh, I thought he was oh. going to German. Yep, and I would have allowed it, Big Dog. Yes. I'm not going to deny Fez a suplex. Combo, elbow, back elbow, and then oh, forearm yeah. strike there. Suplex of his own. Well done by Wu Feng. We we always joke with the oh captain my captain, but this man wrestles like he is a captain of wrestling. And you know what? If, if the roster is sick of seeing him in the top of the heavyweight division, then knock him down, pin him, beat him in matches, Give and up. kick him out of the top ten. But you can't do it. He stays at the well, top of the heavyweight. There is a guy who can do it, and he's in there with him in the ring right now. Yeah. And I think he has done it. Yes, he has. He has. Actually, he has. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know, yes, I know for a fact he has beaten Wu Feng, and he can do it again. Oh, that God. could be it right there. He should pin him right now, and he's not. I don't know what number that was, but it seems was like more six than or one. seven. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Fusion! Something snapped in Wu, and I think it was possibly his collarbone after being suplexed right on top of it. This right is, out of the ring. This is getting nasty. Head and arm plex there. Oh no! Half Go. and half! <laughs> Wu right back to battling! Suplex, Another one! No. Oh! Yeah, you know, that's a suplex. I don't know what number it is. I stopped counting. What? Oh! <laughs> Rearing all the way back from Foshan for that one. What? And another one! Over the cover. One, two, Fez is down. Ooh. Oh. Well, he's been hitting those elbows to the top of his head. Another suplex. Hitting him right on the forehead a few times yeah. with those elbows. Ooh. Another suplex! Horrible landing for Wu Fang. What? It feels like we are into the thick of it. Just 10 minutes into this matchup. One big move can end this. Oh my god, and he tried to throw him out of the ring. I have lost count. Me too. Two, but the count is two count. It is two count. Right in the middle of the ring? No. I thought he was going to hit him with the, uh, with the Tiger Driver there. Elbow measured right across the jaw. Ca caught the nice kick. Nice catch. Catch and release that capture suplex. The rope shoulder tackling him down. Now giving Wu a chance to breathe, and that is exactly what he didn't need to do. Wu coming right out here in front of us in the Swedish announce table. Suplex of his own. That hurts so much more. Oh, yes, there's you know, concrete. Outside of the ring. Wu taking center oh, stage in the ring. Up. Oh, he beat dub. dub. Ooh, oh, oh, no. Falling backwards on his own chair. Okay. I really need to go back after this match and count how many suplexes. Oh, we're, we're, we had to be closing Not in on double digits. Yeah, we're at least absolutely. over. I think we're at least at... Right in the center of the ring! Locked in! Fizz Mickey! Fizz Mickey! Woo, the hand extended, elbowed his way out, right into the ribs. Speaking of elbows, here we go. Look how high he's striking him with those elbows. It's like right on his eyebrow. eyebrow. Going for the kill shot. Unreal. Two blacks! <laughs> Sends off the ribs. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. That's it! That's it! Jesus Christ, no! Fizz, like, slammed on the chair when he fell, too. Speaking of... Oh! God, again. Big boy. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh my Wu is God. Wu catching a big break here. Falling to the outside, but seemingly fine. Paradox Fusion! I can't believe he In the that. robes, no. I don't think he knows where he is. Grabbing a hold of the front face lock. Elbow him shit. down. He's going for it. No. Oh. no. Another and half and half. Fez mission, no. Go for the cover. One, smart. two. That's enough. No, it is not. Oh. Maybe not smart. Maybe should have gone for that Fez mission. Kick caught him square in the chest. Oh, no. It's better than square in the mids. It is. Yeah. Capture suplex. Again. Another one. Gotta be at least 20 now. 20? No, 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 no. Win to the knee. I think I, I. You saw Wu turn his shoulder. He was braced for it. I think he was going to turn that pin oh. over elbow strike. Oh, now just comboing. Into the corner. Oh, no. What does he have in mind oh, no, here? No. Top rope. No, better, better not be a paradox. Oh, no. Okay. Fizz, what are you Fizz? doing? Stop rope Fizz? It's high up there. Close line from the top. Damn. Jumping from his own height. Actually, yeah. yeah. Wu Fang. Well, oh, oh no, the elbow struck to the back of the neck. No drop kick. I don't think he had the uh, spacing for it. No, but he landed back first. Yeah, it's... little room. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> Suplex into the corner. Who sends him off? Oh, Elbow oh, strike! One, two, no! Fez still in this one. 20 minutes in this contest. You're gonna have to, have to fracture his skull, Wu. Yeah. Oh, he seems to be up for the job, Nexus. <laughs> I think so. Oh, beautiful. But he, having to catch his breath, trying to shake some of the cobwebs out. Oh, he's doing just... Fine. Oh, I don't nope. know. Nope. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Sprinting elbow lays him out. One, two. No, Fez that is still. Water. He did. That was rough. Oh my god. That was pretty cool. Hooking clothesline right back to his feet. Oh, dodged it. Yeah. Did not dodge that. He's laying up another one. Oh, fell back uh. first on the chair. One. Do no, Wu on, cannot Fizz. keep this man down. Come on, Fizz. Oh He's no. Pound for pound, one of the toughest guys in the yes. cell block. We think about that. Oh! oh. <laughs> There's a lot of tough guys. <laughs> one, two, no. <laughs> but none quite like Fizz. Fizz. Oh. Human pet oh. suspension, human bowling ball. <laughs> How do you pin a bowling ball, big dog? Where are his shoulders? Yeah. Oh, my. where is shoulders? He's where just rolling down a hill. One, two, is this enough? No. What? Oh, yes. What? Here we go. What? Come on. Yes. Oh, no. What? What? God damn. The suplex. Oh, he tried. Oh. he tried to find that chair. I think he did, yeah. Half a half. I'm telling you, he's got to be pushing 30 now. Fez mission attempt. No, pin attempt. One, two, Wu Fang. Oh, you saw the eyes roll back into consciousness. It looked like, oh, God. He deciding not to run. Oh, he fell face first on that chair. Oh, he did. Wu Fang breathing heavy. Oh, Another fuck. one! Pulling him into it like a lawnmower elbow strike. One, <laughs> two, and it's still not enough. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Fizz. Yes, Fizz. Go for the Fizz mission. Fizz me, no! W3 smash on one, two, three! Whoa, bang! Like Mr. Having, having to go to the trip yep. book, the playbook, the captain's playbook, and somebody who has been widely considered the face of W3 for the first two years of this company goes to the W3 special. Figuring out how to pin a bowling ball is to become one with the bowling ball, <laughs> become one with the circle of the W3 special. Rolls it up. I don't, I, I don't think Wu 
the elbows were not getting at through Fez's defenses. No, that's like chipping through it like a turtle shell. It's just not gonna happen. He's he is like okay, you got guys like Super Boomer. You've got guys like Dune. You've got guys like the Dude. Radiator. The Dougals uh, down like, in solitary. And Fez is considered one of the pound for pound toughest guys in the cell block. Yeah. One of the hardest to knock out. One of the hardest to get the advantage of. And someone who bows up to anyone who comes at him. It's one of the... It, exactly. It's one of those guys that you know going into it. Fuck. God damn it. I don't want to do this. I ha I'm about to walk through a goddamn buzzsaw. And, and that that Door that bus I found out. <laughs> All right, moving on, we have tag <laughs> team like, division contenders action here tonight. For you, Ming Chi and Cousin K of the Chi Dynasty taking on the Shit Disturbers, Claw and Unknown, and these two teams couldn't be further apart from one another on the uh, on the tag team maneuver spectrum here. This is wonderful. This is Yeah, this coming, is. Coming back from that break, I kind of wanted to get a refresher course of like who the who are the guys that mean dub three to yeah. a lot of our people? Who are the ones that stand out? Who are the who are the characters? Who are the who creates the memorable moments? And the, and, and the same answer just kept screaming at me, the shit disturbers. Claude <laughs> and Nolan, whether you love them or you hate them, they create moments. They are memorable. I have laughed more during their matches than probably the rest of Dumb 3 yeah. combined. Yeah. Except for, I don't know, Munich probably usually gets me pretty good. But... And these two, the whole talking shit backstage segments, they're just, they're a little nittering at each other from the beginning. They have, they have created such, such this atmosphere that is synonymous with Dub 3 to me. So if they couldn't have been on the first show back, I love that they're on this show back. And also matching up against the Chi Dynasty, two of the longest uh, tenured. Yes. Um, no, they're cousins. <laughs> Okay, yeah, in real life too, but I meant longest tenured teams in W3 alone. Um, the Chi Dynasty has been around since the start, and, and you know, it's really good to see Ming and Cousin K really starting to get things going. Like, like it has been slow going, but nothing worth doing is easy. No. And sometimes you have to walk that, what is it, 3,000 staircase climb yep. and find out who you are at the top. This has been a climb for them of the tag division rankings, but they are up in the upper echelon yes, in, of that top five right now. And that things have broken wide open since the Schneiders have uh, been dethroned. Critical Friendship now holds, holds the championships. We just saw them defend against the ultimate survival winners, Jaguar and, and Mononoke. And that means things are wide open again. The tech division, this is a very hot time for both of these teams. But I really think Claw and Unknown are going to be all right. And they're spending a lot of time just trying to run away from uh, Shogun and Executioner and kind of found themselves in the top five. Yes, they did. Ming Chi and Cousin K have been working to get here. And I would love to see that work continue to pay off. Well, we're going to see if it pays off here tonight. This is a test for both of these tag teams. I, I, the, the, the difference in styles here is so astronomical to me. It's going to be so much fun. Let's head down to the ring right now as the Chi Dynasty faces all against Claw and Unknown, otherwise known as the Shit Disturbers. Because they are Shit Disturbers. Yes, yes. it's fitting. Sometimes the, the cover does say exactly what's in the cover. Kimchi out here, maybe she. Yeah. I saw him in the locker room, walking through uh -huh. the halls. Uh huh. He's got something on his mind. Yeah, right? possibly ten ten pounds later. I feel like he's tell us. He's got something he's on his mind. He went on a run with that. Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Does anyone have any? No. No. Change. 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 
I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Hey! Hey! I mean, I could try and make something up, you, you, you but I'd probably it. just start laughing. Pew pew pew! Oh, it's a guitar solo. I like the it. Claw. Pew. Nothing can stop the claw. Pew. Throats, throats, mm. throats. No, Timmy. No, no. Timmy. No. Oh, Timmy. I hate that game. How did he get unstuck from that? space-time continuum that he's frozen in. <laughs> I have no idea. Who let him out? Who had to turn off the game? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that felt weird to hear. <laughs> Broke the fourth wall, have we? Oh, uh, back. <laughs> elbow to the back of the elbow. Wow, what a oh. fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you you do that plan. to me, I'll fucking stab you, you piece of shit. Come on. <laughs> Making a note of that right now. How to get stabbed by a big dog. Tagging out a big cousin K. Oh! oh, oh, oh. No! It's the, it's the fucking grease! It's the fucking grease! Everyone's sliding in that corner. And he's barefoot, guys. I thought it was an elimination match, I think. He forgot wrestling. He's fucking wrestling. barefoot. See, I played here, I'm great. Dumb three. <laughs> Big ol' chop elbow combo. Oh, you know it, Big Dog. Oh, but I do. Nexus Omega. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna destroy everyone. Body slam there. Storm to the midsection. He's over 350 pounds dropping that weight. One, two, oh, God. Three, four, yeah. <laughs> big, big old, big, big dumpy K over there. Hey, he's like, fuck it, man. Light tubes. You'd be surprised how much ass that boy gets. Why is it always light tubes? He's got Borlord. He found it, and he's oh, showing Ming Chi what he found. Coin. Is it? No, it's Borlord. I hope so. Aw, oh, damn it. Don't Suplex tease me with the time. Borlord. You know I love those tasteless chocolate coins more than anything in this world. <laughs> it's, your, it's your thing, weirdly. It, it tastes so fact, bad. <laughs> they're awful. It's so bad. It's like Easter Bunny chocolate. Oh no! Kicks to the midsection. God, you guys have problems, man. You have yeah, problems, you have man. Problems, man. You really do, man. man. Pull some boy from the ropes. Drop kick misses. Well, what a ball. large target to miss. <laughs> large target. Large target. Large target. I've never been in a large yeah, target. All oh, right, on we the cheese. Oh, cheesters. Oh, cheesters. Oh, cheesters. The Cheetos. Oh, I love Cheetos. But you do! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Jalapeno! Jalapeno Cheetos, to be exact. Two clicks going up. Oh, over the top rope and oh. into the Swedish announce table. Careful, Sven. Oh my god! Finn and Bjorn looking on Did in terror. See the light there's, there's the claw! He's getting I mean, it went a directly party. into their eyes. That light, that, those light tubes went directly into their eyes. Oh, 100%. Oh! God. Oh no! You know, if they oh blinked, my it wouldn't be an issue. No, <laughs> got embarrassed. <laughs> Maybe a shot, hey, no! Ooh, all the way around town for that DDT. Hey, That's drop me off around the next corner, big dog. I got some going next time. I get you. That's where the good strip comes are. I like he hits him with his titty on the trade off. He's like, I'll fucking Just shoulder you, dude. <laughs> Well, he used to do those Mongolian chops that just stopped all space and time. <laughs> yeah, no, we can't be having that anymore. Well, it's good to have him back Watch in Watch your feet. Watch your feet. There's exposed metal over there. That's bone. We're going to shove you. Going for the cover. He's not the legal man, but he lays that 380 plus pounds of chest right on his face. Oh, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, it's a great time. Ming doing some cardio. Yeah, it looks excellent. Yeah. Body slam there. Oh boy. Oh. Face Buster all into the oh. buckle. <laughs> he had his mouth open. Buster to the <laughs> buckle. <laughs> Time for a pin. Pleasure, are you okay? Well, you busted all over, her, Big oh, Dog. Oh, last time I was okay, Big Dog. It's a giddy. Oh, ah, shot oh, oh, the center of the ring. One, two. I will not allow it. Whoa. Oh, just because you're the resident German here. Pump kick! Nice 
Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. I only allow one, Boy. two, three, four, five <laughs> Germans at show. It's true. I thought I was gonna drop you off to the liquor store around the corner. <laughs> but you wanna go down that other street. I wanna so go you really don't wanna. Yeah, I, I really oh don't. Oh boy, here it is! God, no. <laughs> hey! Look at Jetpack Whoa! <laughs> so Wait, what, what exactly so is... What exactly is Blilk? <laughs> sure. Blood and milk. It's, blood and milk. It's oh, it's blood. Egg. And and what the, what the person with whose blood is being supplied? I'm guessing voluntarily. <laughs> what is their I, diet like? I don't know. Uh, PEDs. I I would assume after that elbow. <laughs> well, they haven't been God help us if it's radiator's blood. Oh no! I, no, that's he not good for know. him. He would know. He'd be glowing. He would glow. Oh, DD Teasters. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Grabbing up the feet. Oh, no, German suplex again. And, and Nexus is is doing a little I stomp am, around. I <laughs> have I have pulled out my eyebrow hairs in, in rage. I need those. Suplex there. Uh-oh. Oh. That kick right to the face. Right to that hairdo. What's that hairdo? Hairdo. Like, Big head. What? Because he's mad. He's German and he doesn't want anyone to do his suplex. I hate everything. Oh! <laughs> nothing allowed. Nothing deserves my love legend. Unknown predicament. Kicked him right oh, in the no. ankle. Which is the Who knew? Way to break that up. <laughs> it expired. Ah, you're a showman. You're a show show -tun. It's actually regular Shoten. Before I'm corrected. You're a regular Shoten. Oh. Two! Oh. We oh. towed him in the butthole. The butthole. Eat it. I love butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. With, with tomato sauce. Butthole is so fucking good. The only thing Comes you don't like is when a non-German <laughs> suplex is a German suplex. <laughs> yes, but but, but, no, but totally is one of the one, two, three, four, five things I allow. <laughs> That's crazy. We need a we need to tell you dress show the Lord up. <laughs> but totally. No. Oh, oh, oh. And, it, right and shit. Oh my oh, god! Oh, the T Dynasty, and it gives them the props. Oh, the the. Gentlest yeah. headbutt ever. <laughs> he, just, like, <laughs> he just headbutt him like two cats do that haven't seen each other in a long time. Oh W3 stupid. W3 rule. <laughs> Cheese win and W3 win. This is my best favorite. And all of our dub 3 oh, Welcome back to dub 3, everybody. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that fucking slip off the. <laughs> yeah, was that was that was that yeah, where Gerald, everything I came broke crashing? Really early. <laughs> That's where everything came crashing down. It broke really early for me. <laughs> Speaking of rodeo. <laughs> oh boy, you could say that again. Say it again. Speaking of <laughs> milk and questionable ingredients. Oh yeah, they might. We that might have, have here. a fucking extreme division. No disqualification, which is redundant. Contenders match up here tonight. Saladin, the meat man, titties looking mwah, stupendous. Like the put the little bill. <laughs> Don't know who put <laughs> this presidential podium. Whoever put this podium in front of you and asked you to speak into it and bang the podium while you're talking, I am very mad at them. But I will vote for you, big dog. I don't even know what you're running for. Thank you, God. The irradiated massacre known as Radiator, who is looking to melt all the meat <laughs> off of them bones. <laughs> Nexus, I have to pass it to you. <laughs> well, thank you, because <laughs> I am very, very excited for this match. The radiation coming off of Radiator will cook Saladin to a crisp and gyro sandwiches for everyone gyro. off of the titties of that man. And you know what? 
that's entertainment. This is the extreme division. These are two of the favorites here in W3. Saladin has a fucking empire, and the Radiator is known as a source of punishment in fucking Eastern State Penitentiary. He's made a cake explode. I like cake. I like radiator. I'm gonna. I'm. I. You know what? Fuck it. No. 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 You know what? Screw it. Last time I said Saladin wasn't gonna win, he fucking criticaled someone and just <laughs> lied over them with his fucking meat feeder. So I'm going to Saladin here. He is destined to be the extreme champion. Ghosts and Rook be damned. Saladin will win the gold one day soon. Oh, we're trying the opposite day approach with the fire pro gods. I like it. Oh, Absolutely. I want to hear your door. Oh, we're being invaded by doors. We gotta go out to the ring now. <laughs> you know what I just realized? What? I still have an eliminator to go. I know. <laughs> Speaking of boning. <laughs> and eliminators. <laughs> oh, here comes the man with the most meat on the bones in W3. Almost falling off the bones, one could say, if we're talking about real dripping of butter. Very brave of him to wear white pants when he wrestles, too. Yes. He actually wears that while he butchers, too, in his butcher oh, shop. Shit. But he doesn't get anything on him. I think he sprayed some of that um, that uh, complete 100% uh, oh, water repellent. Throats! 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 I said throats! Th throats? No, fuck you, throats. I hate you. Throats! Where is he? Throats! Throats! Is he is he asleep? No, he's in right he fucking little Right shit. here, motherfucker. Yeah, down my throat! No, Tim no, Timmy. No. You can't, you can't say no to me, I'm not I your cat. <laughs> I value Meow. my cat's life over your entire existence and your family. Timmy. Oh, wait, you don't have a family, Timmy. I forgot. Oh, you got him again! No. <laughs> yeah, next is I'm on. Okay. Oh, this is going to be really bad, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of barbs. Oh, he's throwing his meat. Go over the cover. Immediately won. Immediately, you could even say. He's going for the cover. We're 40 seconds in. This piece of shit. Trying to rob these people of a good extreme match. We know very well that Paladin. Oh, go Blue's getting in his cardio. Look at that. He knows he's got an eliminator going up. Why would he be doing double duty? Why does this run sheet say he's on double duty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh you big thing he's oh. oh no, oh, man, this is his he's making, He's making radiator jerky. Oh well, radiator's making meat jerky. Leg trip there. It's kind of like almost seems like a wrestling match in a sense. So far, yeah. We've also, been he -he like and ha ha on all fucking night. Oh I'd boy, like no. <laughs> I'd like to put just for a second, put the attention behind Blue here at that beautifully steadying <laughs> kendo stick. Just yeah, that's off the rig. That's beautiful. It's perfectly balanced. Just like this game. Perfectly balanced. Oh, another one! Oh god, really leaning back to 390 plus. <laughs> Humbling him one. and possibly bite fucking him. Oh, body slam. Oh, with authority. And I'm going to the hamstrings of Radiator, who what is a goddamn incredible. Strategic uh, strikes by Saladin. A very dangerous man who has seen a lot of. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Bombs. And so oh, in the win combination, combination too. Too. <laughs> No, that's the worst kind of hell. What I just saw. Face full of me. <laughs> oh god. I'm trying to find his throat. <laughs> that's not nothing, buddy. Oh, but he's fighting a fork to the forehead. <laughs> he found the butt throat is what he did. <laughs> oh god. He found the downstairs mouth. Just repeatedly stabbed. Oh boy! God damn! Look at the size of that fucker. Throw. Yeah, throats. Let drop. Let drop. You could say that's to the technically the back of the net is the back of the throat. So he's he's getting warmer. 
It is getting warmer. Oh, and that's something you don't want. You don't want the radiator to warm up because that's when he starts glowing. And God help oh, everyone. Boy. In this oh, oh, like a fucking bouncy ball. Yo, guys. You know, I need to mention something that I don't think we brought up yet. But to uh -oh. just take a look at those scratches all over that. Yeah, he's got a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He was up to some kinky shit last night. What? No, no, no. That's that is. Literally there for the years and years of scarring. What? No, 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 come on. I can tell a person what they're looking like by their, by their stuff bag. And that, 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 that's no. some sex scratches there, big No, dog. no, that's, that's that. barbed wire. Spain doesn't have any sex. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you not see? He's the oh, 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 my God. Oh, okay, you think Dude. You know? Yeah, he probably fucks me. Come on. Uh, uh oh, speaking of being fucked. I think Sally is cheating. Speaking of being fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think he's kicking? That's it, no. Audience, how dare you? <laughs> by the, by the way. Are all about <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. What does he got planned here? Oh, he kicked oh. in the little rads. Which is his weak point? What? Not tonight, uh, clearly. Not tonight, no. But yeah, I've, those, seen, those... I've seen that, that sneaky seen ball heat. Balls? <laughs> You yeah. bet your ass I have. There we go. Two meaty men slapping me. You know, these two are really going to enjoy watching this match back for this excellent commentary we're providing about them being <laughs> sexual <laughs> oh, men. <laughs> Just sexual dudes. Dudes. Off to the ropes. Oh, so is he a plan oh, here? Whoa! Oh, oh, ben I over! I thought he was gonna do the drop down spot. <laughs> and he didn't. The, the infamous Saladin infinite drop down. Hey, well, he used to do those in the in the army all the time. He could do yes, a quick did. push up. Oh! He could do a fucking throw up. <laughs> being thrown into the sun. That's not what he meant by he didn't mean push him up to the sky radiator. Oh! Oh, oh that was heavy. Oh! God damn! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my whips. <laughs> Body slam there. Oh, he's going all the way to the top. Jesus God damn. Covering the entirety of Saladin in nuclear waste. <laughs> oh, no. but oh 15 man. Minutes, so his meat has, is safe for consumption. Yes, it's true. Ladies. I will let you know. That's like later on. <laughs> And with that, with that, with that, with uh, that impressive flying sausage bomb, uh, <laughs> the radiator has taken the number one contender spot. Uh, from actually, yeah, he's taken it from Saladin. He, he's the number one contender. Way back up there, last time we saw radiator unleashed on Rook was uh, specifically by the cell block, not necessarily. Um, Maybe he wasn't even knowing what he was going up for. Now I think he's caught the scent of exactly Possibly. what it means to be the number one contender. That is interesting, big dog. Hey, I'm staring at your quill, my friend. <laughs> oh, you want to see something a little bit bigger? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I actually do have something a little bit bigger for you. Kyle, too. Kyle, he's, Kyle he's too. a little guy, man. He's like 5'2". Oh, honey.
Dude, I've been missing W3 this whole time. I didn't even think about the fact that PK is going to get a nice little rest here. Let that injury heal up properly. And it seems as if he has made his proclamation for his rematch. And damn it, if he didn't come up with a great idea, yes, those two have faced each other multiple times. And, and, and just throughout their history in the past year and a half, legend, Nexus, a two out of three falls match for the heavyweight championship. The rematch of all rematches for that big golden. Oh my god. Damn, dude. Yeah, there's no happening here. You I gotta I catch am. him once, you gotta catch him twice. It's all gonna be a time definite hype. winner between those two. All time hype here. Holy shit. But uh the shade, I mean, Kimchi caught a stray, whether it was he intentional did. or he not. Did. 
He did. They're saying, yeah, he's gonna he'll get the winner after Maximum Security three, but damned if he wasn't ready now. Mm hmm Coming off a hell of a run with that television title, just dropping it to Beast of Sorry last week at No Man's Land three, the returning Beast of Sorry. He deserved that. I was very yes. excited to see him getting the next shot, but God, how do you deny PK? It, it, He's got a contractually he, obligated rematch. He said he would be back for it. He said, and Bolt did say, I will meet you there. And he told him to defend that title like the son of a bitch he was because he wanted to face him again. I guess is as good as mine on what's going through that man's mindset. I, I Look, I don't... He says one thing. Maybe those old, old, old insecurities that Kim Chi has had before in his career that we have seen him conquer here rearing their head he is good enough and i hope he i hope he knows he is he's just got to wait a little bit longer speaking of waiting a little bit longer we have no longer to wait for our eliminator of the week that is going to be the extreme division yeah we getting crazy up in this mother fucker hey uh we do have a returning wrestler in this yes we it's do be dune Dune winning the last Extreme Eliminator 10,000 years ago, but failing to clinch in the yes. fight for the fifth. It's coming back to the Eliminator this week to try it for another shot. Yes. He gets another shot. Well, he's going to have three dancing partners in this one. Let's see who comes out on top in this sure-to-be bloody free-for-all Eliminator matchup. Let's head down to the ring. So cool. This music's so rad. Did. Do you guys want me to say it? Do you, say, I, say it. Say it. Uh, I'm just kidding. Okay. I don't want to say it. Uh, uh, damn it. Uncle Dude, I'm my first pair of Daisy Dukes. Oh my god. Out of one of his yep. scenes. That's crazy. <laughs> Speaking of crazy, yep. here he is. You know, Uncle Dune was the first person to bite a raccoon and give it rabies. Yeah, he, he agrees. He remembers that. Surprising. <laughs> he married that <laughs> raccoon. It was a rocky marriage. You're the worst. I hate you. Dude. <laughs> and he's oh. going to shortly uh, be joined by someone who is kind of just getting his feet wet back in W3. Somebody that went over to UPW, UCW, excuse me. I should. And started, kick started their extreme or hardcore division as they call it. Ali Baba, the Turkish nightmare. Big money. Big Baba. money, Baba. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Look at the chains around his neck. Chains. Change. Chains. Change. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Just in case you forgot. Just in case you forgot. This is the motherfucking year of Popo, baby. Oh, That's Mont Surges. Fuck. Look at him. Look at the piss yes. yellow firework. <laughs> that is a reminder not to have pee that color. Yes. If your pee is the color. Dog. Oh, well, you know what? You don't want no kidney stones, big dog. You gotta drink a lot of water. I can't get no kidney stones. I love that. I love what you did. It was so heartwarming. I really feel like you and I are here for each other today. Whoa. <laughs> I wouldn't miss tonight for your sanity, legend. Hide your mothers. Wait, who is... Who... Oh, how do you know? <laughs> now I know. Oh, oh no, you wouldn't. Oh no, I, I texted my mom. She's in the bunker. She's not gonna. She's not gonna come out for a week now. Thanks, big dog. Good. The motherfucker is here. This man's penis has what? been on crazy adventures. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, we got an adventure. All right, headbutt right immediately. Here. Shot right there Big to the top of Ollie Baba's head. Elbow right between the shoulder blades of Big Money Baba. Elbow strike there from Doc Popo. Punching to no effect. Oh, he's got him in that shit face, cross face. He's got really dirty fingies. He rubs them in his eyes while he does it. Oh, no, I hate that fingies. that new brand of extra flammable gasoline. Yes, that's exactly what it is. What is this? Oh, he's gonna... Oh, punch to the face! <laughs> oh, he's chewing on the nose of Alibaba. He's like, give me the boogies. It's 
in what speaking is this? of, Whoa. whatever the fuck that was, the person who's in number five right now is Table Saw Tommy, so consider it a punishment ah. and an honor to win this eliminator. Oh, just a short strike to the hip there. Oh, now this. Uga, Uga, Uga. 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 The Guga, the, the fucking that's, magical that's, that's words. That's what he calls his grandfather. And unfortunately, that's what his grandfather used to do all the time. Oh no. Triangle, that's not good. Hey, dude heard you. He's like, ah, Guga. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm actually looking up. Guga is actually. <laughs> no, it's actually no. a mythical creature. I'm sorry. I thought it was his grandfather. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you actually looked one thing up in the history of everything you've ever said. Oh, big running start. Just for the oh, oh, truck stop kick now. Oh no, we got Uncle Dune and Doc Pop Pop. Pop I've actually popping each other off. I've seen Uncle Dune fight his doctor before. <laughs> it was literally this doctor. <laughs> Neck surgery. No. Neck surgery. No. <laughs> oh no. It's hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know one time Uncle Dune like gave me like finger guns and my grandpappy got killed by fireworks. Oh, oh no, you're not your grandpappy. That that to me too. I don't even I didn't even know he had fireworks on him. Oh my God. You guys had a grandpappy? No. Well, not, not anymore. He died, Big Dog. Go to the eyes of Doc Popo. Help out of the back of the neck of Dune. Try to get this show back on the rails. But uh, it has fallen off and it has <laughs> crashed into the nearby lane. <laughs> Do you see who's in the ring right now? Listen, we have Uncle Dune, we have Doc Pop Pop, a man who oh! keeps the orphans of all the people whose parents he's killed. We have a motherfucker. Not to mention a man who fucks mothers around the world. <laughs> Walking you can't around ever the get world. <laughs> What? Oh. Oh, he doesn't know what to do. Absolutely stinked up. Whoa, where's he going? Oh no! Ah, dude! With the bloody head! Headbutt right there. To the butt. Oh, and stomping on the butt. Stomping on the butt. Oh, oh, there it is. The cross face again. No, just blasting him. And so, anyways, he's blasting. DDT right onto that chair. It was very short lived, but that cross face is classic Doc Popo it off. Truly <laughs> is, man. Oh no. Jumping pile driver. I'm not a squeeze. Oh, squeeze and try to pop his head like a zit. I think dude realizing that if Mac Trucker fucked someone's mother, that one could have been his sister. Yeah. Oh, he oh. stole the sickest choke slam of the world away from us. Oh my god, and that's what he gets for it. Oh. Babbers is getting it. Jesus! Bob, Bob is hurting. Wow. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's gonna murder him! Oh, oh, everyone's dead. <laughs> Break time. Nap time. Uh, yes, that's Donkey what he calls this right here. Dude. That's how he was taught to take a nap. <laughs> From by his uncle Dune and his uncle Dune for him. Oh no! Dude yeah. is a family name. Yes. Of course. Here we go. The trade in the corner. Yeah. I'm just oh, so happy I've got everyone oh. in this match right now. <laughs> He's like, you know, oh, I have a surgery to fix that. You know, I, neck surgery. I neck surgery. Dude is standing a lot straighter all of a sudden. Give it time. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh no. You don't know where those fingies have been in a cigarette yeah, packet. Yeah, you can ask him. Yeah, do you ever think to ask? <laughs> oh! You know all these hardcore boys have their stinky fingies for one reason or another. Oh no, he missed everyone! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, neck! <laughs> Gone! <laughs> and it's out of here. <laughs> oh, Baba's legitimately hurt. Well, he's, he's bleeding he's, from the ass, and that's not where he's cut, he's Big Dog. He's reevaluating his life choices. Why did I come he's back here? God damn it. Oh! <laughs> oh, big buddy bitches are sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. The fact that 
The fact that Mac drives with that those eyes is terrifying to me. Well, not anymore. All the way in the corner. Oh my god, he found the Borlor and slammed him on it. Wham bam. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Where's, oh. oh! What's he doing? He's chopping That's... through the rope. This is so sneaky. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dude's the best. <laughs> Uncle Dude just <laughs> teaching teaching Mac Tucker about sex in a matter of seconds. Dino Buster! Whoa, Dino Buster! Not One, an Uncle Dude, no! Two! two. No. Oh, good. Aw, oh, right in the right in the sandball. They are in the I, I don't more know. Cousins. Elbow to the back of the neck. Mac Tucker fighting his he way out. Donate. Oh, ba da ba da ba da. Go like more after. Ah. Oh, you, you get people. those fingies out of your mouth. They're stinky. <laughs> he just saved his life. Back suplex wow. in the corner. What? Back suplex in the corner. You are in. Oh the my corner. God! On his balls. Oh! oh. oh. Uh, into his hands. You know, at some point, you're gonna have to pin him. No! <laughs> oh, sometimes Uncle Dude gets the googly legs and the spaghetti's all over the place. Ah, uh, yeah. The spaghetti, he overlaid it on the spaghetti from Batoli. Batoli has the greasiest spaghettis. <laughs> Makes you real sweaty, <laughs> doesn't it, big dog? Legend of this fist <laughs> Well, that's why we always Good have blood. that bucket nearby, yes. Big Dog. <laughs> we are prepared. Oh, God. oh he's bleeding oh! profusely. Hey, hey, Big Dog, Alibaba, he's bleeding, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. What? Oh, my Thank God. You. Yes, he he's, is. He's wearing the crimson <laughs> bib, and he's just been dumped to the outside, flashing his back with a blood cape. Oh, boy. <laughs> Did you make it? <laughs> Dangerous. She, she was crip walking to the bathroom. <laughs> Throwing up C's and everything. You had the spaghetti Sorry. legs from oh, the <laughs> 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 Anatoly Batolis, the only one with the best greasiest spaghetti. Anal Tony. Wait. <laughs> 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 It smelled like you think. Anal, anal Tony. Anal is anal Tony. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, you don't want to hear it again, Mac. You don't want to hear what we just said again. Anatoly Batolis. Oh my god. One, two. Plex. Is this the dude's? Well, we all know Legend has the largest hog out of it's everyone true. at this table. And it is on the table right now. Oh, oh it is. Didn't wait for me. <laughs> Why is it shaking? I'm very uncomfortable. I don't like the way it smells. <laughs> <laughs> smells oh! like Bigfoot. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Dude, he goes on these streaks where he's just like, I have so much fucking substances in my blood. <laughs> And, and they just choose to wake up at a certain point. They choose to wake up. That's uh, you don't. You're not even listening. Oh. Stay. Oh, no, sticky. Oh, he's got the stakes too. A llama class. Oh, no. The stakes going up the nose and the mouth. Oh the no. The stakes going up the nose and the mouth. <laughs> oh, he's gonna stab you fork style. Be careful. Oh, oh my God. It's oh, over. he's got to pin him. He's going for the pin. Doc Popo in trouble. Popo no. in trouble. <laughs> Who just burped in the ring? <laughs> that was dude. That's it. Oh, the best burper. <laughs> he suddenly decided he needed to show off. What is this? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Ah, fuck. Ah, damn. One. Two, oh one. God. This match is never gonna end. Oh, 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 Bassler! What? Bassler! This. Oh god. 
right in the dick. Which is okay, because Doc Popo doesn't need children. He has too many. Now, Big Dog, Alibaba is bleeding. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. It's a great observation there. Great, great journalist work. Great fucking commentary work. Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> he pinned the wrong man. He didn't realize he wasn't him. He lost track. Hey! Oh! Backslider! Back no. From Doc Popo! <laughs> oh god. Yes. W3 yes. is indeed back, motherfuckers. Body is world! Gazartite. That's a real <laughs> southern sneeze right there. <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> Colonel Parker Brothers is sweating for you. <laughs> oh, oh no. I was really hoping oh. we'd see Dune do the Hurricane <laughs> Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Babbers is down. <laughs> In the wrong man. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. <laughs> he exhaled the blood. That's yeah, all yeah, it was. In the lungs it's out. just fucking blood. No, oh, it is oh, over. No. Your life might be over. You need to finish this match. Oh! oh! Fireworks! So just like that, my grandpappy died. Excuse me, fellas. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Next surgery. Next. Oh. What? <laughs> No, that's back. You should just suck. You should <laughs> Yeah. I could smell the end and it smells like <laughs> copper. <laughs> yeah, it smells sticky. Oh my god. These are four men that will never <laughs> lay down for three. What was Bree thinking? I like I like when when dude punches himself. He's like, ah oh, man, CT's a bit. Oh! <laughs> See, he's not real. It's just like germs. Of course, I mean, this is a perfect example. You see a powerful match ending maneuver, and then they just forget about the person they just did it to and move on to someone else. Oh my god. Oh, has he got planned here? Headbutt. Oh no, he's gonna spit in his mouth. <laughs> he's trying. <Yeah>. Hawk, hawk. <laughs> oh god. Oh, and this oh, is what you get for it. No. Your trick methods. Pet him. Next surgery One, for Doc two. Topo. No, he's, no, his neck is a mutant. <laughs> oh, fuck, Baba. Bring in the heat. Dino. No, Kirk on no, necktie. Kirk on necktie. He's paying more he's attention to oh, his... He slipped. How did it get over there? It's over. How did it get over... Oh. Oh my oh god! My Look, he hit the wrong person again. This match is never gonna end. Oh my god! This dude is also face blind. Yes. You know? Yes. He's body blind. blind. <laughs> that might fix him, Baba. Keep doing that. Oh, he's got barb. What is he gonna do? Barb? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, he's trying to blast him. Oh, oh, I think he's gonna keep running. Uh oh, uh oh, he's on the chase. <laughs> he's oh. not what he's doing anymore. What? He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, oh never mind, he doesn't care anymore. Back suplex. Baba is less sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, now pinning the wrong way! <laughs> Every person in this match is just not mentally aware of anything. Hey, donkey punching. Yeah! 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 yeah. Uncle Dummies. Dude loves donkeys. Yeah! Shut up, Into the corner. See, so have in mind, he's just gonna give him a rest. Just a nice old fashioned rest, man. Nice little <laughs> sleepy time. You gotta watch out for Doc Popo. You gotta watch out for the, the, the sleepy time rest. You gotta watch out for hepatitis in the uh, ring right now. Oh, and the stinks. <laughs> he just moved out of the way of Barb. Oh, he grabbed oh, yeah. something from his meter. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> 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 oh, 
This <laughs> patented wiener for? Oh god. Ah, oh, donkey puncher. <laughs> I'd get all this donkey action. <laughs> whoa, don't isolate that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? Dude. Dude. No! This is the greatest extreme eliminator of all time, oh, and it's man. not nowhere near <laughs> being that. over. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, look at the speed of that popo! Oh look at this cheetah! <laughs> the cheetah of the darkness! <laughs> The of the darkness. I forgot that they used to call him that. In, in, in the light. Monkey. He would. He would. He would turn off the light, and then he would. He would turn off the light, no, and he would all go and meet somewhere else. <sighs> so fast. It's oh, like a chain reaction. I hit you with this table, then I kill you. Alibaba Burton. <laughs> and Squirt. <laughs> oh my God, Mac Look at Tucker. The ring. <laughs> oh! My! God! You stay away Mac from my mother! <laughs> you stay away from my mother, you yeah. son of a bitch! That was for everyone whose mother. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, Alibaba doesn't sound very good. <laughs> oh. Uncle Dude, you got this! <laughs> Donkeys! Yeah. Someone bring out a wheelbarrow for the swelling that is Mac Tucker's ball. Oh my god! Dude, <laughs> well, the darkness is a ring right now. <laughs> just keeps, just... He keeps talking about you. Oh my god. He just, he's just spurting on the back of Popo. He's gonna be so mad when he takes his shirt off and sees all the blood on his back. Oh. Neck surgery! No! Neck surgery! No! Oh, he caught the kick! Headbutt! <laughs> he was trying to bamboozle him with his dancey fists. Oh, oh my god, not again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he pinned the wrong man! God damn it! Oh, you get out the Eliminated! <laughs> Oh, watch Wait, out for Uncle Dude. Down. Oh! He punched the rope! <laughs> he just, he Is this how these kids the do the dives? <laughs> He's like, punch me if you're gonna punch me. I gave a raccoon rabies! <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god, on his cap! That's it, yeah, it is it. <laughs> One, two, that's it. No! No! <laughs> yeah, he painted. <laughs> oh my god. You know, Tucker was overdue for a vacation. <laughs> Even coming back from two months, I think he needs he needs a little break. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <sighs> he sounds a little phlegmy. It's the blood. It's all the blood. He's like, I'm dying. It's over. Give up. Give up. Why are you doing a headlock, Pop Pop? <laughs> Oh! oh, he's on the spaghettis. <laughs> Spaghetti about it. Hey, yeah, it's all eight of tolly, but tolly, but tolly. I'm hearing a lot of crunching, and I just think it's, <laughs> it's... Mac Tucker's balls retracting. <laughs> It's going back up in. <laughs> Slowly. Hey! Sorry. Oh. oh. Yes! On, on yes! Ah! Beautiful! This is like, this is my favorite match of all time. This is 1000% my favorite match of all time. Four of the greatest W3 competitors Monsters, mental patients, whatever. Oh, Neck surgery time oh, is the point that Doc Pop Pop is trying to. He's trying to. He's making money from the medical wing, is what he's doing. Damn. The year of Popo continues. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Dude, trying to do the unthinkable. They're running it back. 
Himself by not doing the drop down. <laughs> now keep Stop it swinging. <laughs> oh, I, it's fuck. Oh, fire. Oh, yeah. Fire. Oh my god. Crap. One, two. No. No. Oh. oh, here we go. Here yeah. we go. Yes, sir. What are you guys do, Uncle Dude? Do oh it! Ah, down! 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 Dude, it! Two! Three! Dude, it doesn't look that guy. He loves pinfall victories. <laughs> look at that man's face. Dude. Dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That better be a hundred. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is the greatest match of all time. Oh my god. I. <laughs> I'm sorry I for, for the rest of this yet, show. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle shit. Dude, you've, you've earned yourself another <laughs> date with Pappy Tom. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> That match was the most fucking cursed match <laughs> in the history of W3. Alright. It's some simple it's back to the side. We still got two more matches. And oh one's a God. fucking cage match. And both are for championships here in W3. Oh, 30 minute time limit. Beast Sasori, the newly crowned W3 television champion after defeating Kim Chi at No Man's Land 3 faces her first opponent and somebody she has faced throughout her career multiple times on multiple continents under multiple rulings but this one has a little bit of gold in the purse here tonight siren is an amazonian one of the pound for pound strongest people in professional wrestling uh b sasori knows this b sasori has to make a strong impression in her first defense right here tonight but don't count out Siren. Siren has beaten the Radiator. Siren has beaten people that she was the underdog coming into matches. She has a shot here to, to play spoiler to her arch nemesis. Nexus, how do you feel about it? Oh, boy. Well, yeah, well, I mean, their history, man. Like, just taking each other to the limit. Every match, bringing out the best in each other. Very, very proud of our new television champion be so sorry but as we've seen with past television champs you, you're gonna have to work your ass off you're gonna have to be here on a weekly basis and yeah we just came back from two months off but before that beast and widow were on quite a break themselves and for her to all of a sudden jump back into it yes win a championship but now to start defending it on a weekly basis against someone who's hungry amazonian strength can toss you around like siren i am Still firmly standing behind Beast of Sorry for many reasons. D shut up. I'm, um, I didn't say goddamn word. Shut up. But I think Siren is definitely a very, very, very dangerous first defense, and I think Beast should not take her lightly at all, just like she hasn't in, in their rivalry. Well, Siren knows Beast of Sorry. She knows her game, and this is going to be a hell of a test for her first defense here tonight. Let's head into our semi-main event of the evening for the television championship. 30-minute time limit is under session here. Siren in b -Sasori. Impressive physique. She did not skip a date in the gym over that two month absence oh no never been her work ethic second to none she's getting a shot right here she put together some impressive wins last at the end of last year this could be a huge moment for the career of siren and w3 going forward and here comes a woman that makes my heart go badum bay big dog badum bay indeed We're gonna we're it's it's worked in. It's lore now. Bottle bay. Jackets! Jackets and gold! 
that looks so beautiful. That's going to be the name of her biography one day. Jackets and gold. Jackets and gold. I like that. And also, too, I mean, I guess what I'm led to assume maybe we're not supposed to talk about the silver stress streak in Widow's hair, no, but did. if she brushed it back and kind of matches Widow, it would be gold streak, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. Girl, it's okay. We're all stressed out. Right. It's fine. My beard is salt and pepper as shit. <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm a fresh young boy. <laughs> I can't go isolate that either. Body slam on the floor. I'm just... You're, you're fucking dangerous is what you are, big dog. Stupid. Off into the corner, Siren. Figuring out what the hell to do with Beast of Sori. Uh, she's, I think, a little bit worried coming into this match because, again, they know each other so well. Can't show your hand too quickly in this matchup, but the time is working against you. I would argue that Beast is showing her hand, Big Dog, and just because she stepped up to that open challenge mm. to Kim Chi, Ooh. the two of them are very similar. What we saw Kim Chi talking about in Brie Kurd's office about challenging twice for executioner and coming so close to that world championship, that is very much what Beast Asori experienced as well. Coming so close and just running into the God King executioner Absolutely. who put the stop to everybody who came to the gates and said, I want a shot. Turn them all away. Ooh. You can't deny the Beast has seen what Warajiro Ashiwa, what Powder yes. King, yes. what Kim Chi have achieved through these streaks with the television championship. If she can go on one, she can get right back up there to challenging status. Body slam to the outside. Yeah, she is looking excellent in the early goings of this matchup. But again, going to that power game, going to that body slam, trying to take her off of her game, maybe... Uh, Knock something loose in the back and the spine a little bit. Get her walking awkward. And we also saw that there was a stretch where Beast just Ooh. wasn't using that top uh, leg drop. Yeah, that, that guillotine just, leg drop. Yeah, not not great to be doing every match, especially if you miss. Well, she went to it and yeah, as won the championship. Jump off the apron today. Oh, yeah. Like pig, well done by Siren. Five minutes has elapsed. Still early in this meeting here. Step over. Ooh, a back Ooh. kick right to the teeth. And again, using the strength, powering her down to the ground. Beast going to the eyes of the champion. Looking, uh, looking a little lighter, too. I'm wondering if she leaned into, into using more of the speed, using more of the top rope offense. Maybe. I mean, she's back. She feels good. We saw her use the leg drop a couple times against Kim Chi. Maybe she's still adjusting. I yes. mean, that time off might have been for her just as much as it was for Widow's Nerves. Yeah, that's right. God, to be a fly on the wall during that vacation. I would assume there was walls. Over the cover. One count only. And again, not to not to keep talking about Beast of Sorry's accolades here, but it's been a while since I've seen her, and I gotta say, I mean, this woman has honestly done things that no one else has ever done. She beat Radiator and yep. Executioner in the same match. She pinned Typos Negative when she was facing them two on one. Yes. This is this is a fucking history making. Yes. And yeah, and she was here. one of the first women to throw her hat into the Extreme Division, the, the fledgling Extreme Division, by entering the Great American Thrash in the Ooh. early days of W3. Seeing a little bit yep. of a different side of her. God damn, seeing a foot coming square between the eyes. Get how tall and how just long the legs of, of Siren really is until that foot is directly in your face. There you go. You saw Beast try and weaken those legs a little bit, try and Ooh. weaken her Ooh, base. I, I think that just barely nicked her. Because I feel yeah. like if that would have landed heavy, that would have been a, a pinning opportunity. Possibly a, a championship opportunity for Siren. Larry to the back of the neck. Now picking her up. What has she got in mind here? No, elevated DDT. We've seen that time and time again. One of her go-to maneuvers. Possibly a leg drop. No, elbow. Heavy elbow. Pulling at the hair. Yeah, really, really doing a good job of keeping Beast unbalanced. Absolutely. Really smart of Siren here. Like you said, I don't really think there's anything that these two haven't shown each other. Like, offense-wise, there, there has to be a different strategy at this yeah. point. You, there's no new tricks, just different strategy. 
and she in right now she is staying on top of the champion not giving her a chance to breathe now that opening has found its way up and again going to the amateur wrestling that she knows that she is better rounded at she doesn't want to brawl with beast of swords that is not what she needs to get in in into that ring with the idea of doing she needs to stay on top of her and try to outpace her as she's doing right now siren is doing an excellent job she is and you'll notice she's not really testing her progress either i think she's very well aware that we're only 13 minutes into the contest oh and, and there's that kink yep yeah she's coming in with a, a very strong game plan and actually going a lot to that ground based grappling yeah. trying to keep beast on the ground and definitely away from that top rope now this is like going to be interesting he's swinging with those clubbing right hands and brings her down off to the races. Yep. Ooh, and runs her down with a clothesline and an elbow drop combination. But I don't know if that hit clean. Snap suplex there by Siren. And a second Another one. Look at this. Out She's wrestling. A out wrestling She's the champion. Absolutely a machine. Overhand left and a super kick in response. Maybe if she can pull her away from the ropes. Beast of Sorry, gut wrench suplex again. Now using her strength as the difference maker. Awkward landing, landing those legs in the ropes with that suplex. I don't know if that was intentional or, or uh, just a happy accident. Oh, that wasn't an accident. Dumping her right on the back of her neck. Nice little kick to the lower back. Cheeky. Now you are seeing Siren. Starting to breathe on oh, my god, oh, driving to the blacks. No, oh, oh man. Oh, I felt my breath catch. There's beautiful bridge. There is almost no better German suplex in the game. Oh my god, there it is another again. one! Two! No! Beat the sorry! Go over the cross oh lock! Cross lock. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my, I don't think she could hold it for very long. Oh no! Power but... bomb, legs hook though. But talk about bringing no, new offense. <laughs> I think she was mad. I think she was very mad. No, oh, it up. Oh, power bomb! One, two, three. Pisa oh, Sori <laughs> ends this matchup emphatically with a top rope power bomb. That. <laughs> Was impressive. She got the. Sh she she was pretty much manhandled that entire matchup. My God, Siren just came at her like an absolute dynamo, and she absorbed all of that. Just kept fighting back and looking for that opportunity, waiting for the moment when maybe Siren put too much on the line, and that happened on that top rope, turning it around to that powerball. My God, be so sorry. We saw. We saw what looked like an instinct kick in, maybe knocking off a little bit of ring rust, maybe knocking off the 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 uh, the pleasantries and getting down to business. Siren hit that German suplex twice, and Bisasori realized this oh. could be it. I could lose right <laughs> now. More. She went directly into the Sasori crosslock, but opted to further punish Siren, and then Siren slipping up on the top rope, opening the spot for Bisasori to retain and make her first W3 Television Championship title defense. Hey, hey. welcome back, Beast. The W3 Extreme Championship hangs in the balance once again tonight. They are running it back, but this time in a steel cage match. Grizzly and Rook will face once again. Rook, having ordered the unseen to attack Grizzly and using two new members of the Unseen. Blackheart and Shaman have joined the Unseen, the Uprising. It was really like, like entry exam. I know. And they took it to Grizzly, possibly fractured some ribs. He will not talk about the x-ray. He will not conform or deny anything. Grizzly took Rook to 60 minutes in an exploding barbed wire match. We have put them in a cage. This is Grizzly's home <laughs> ground. He is a cage fighter. In a cage. Rook won the championship in the cage. Who 
wins this match. Grizzly has had a week. I don't for better or worse. Maybe that adrenaline is gone. Maybe maybe Rook walks away with the, this one, wipes the floor with Grizzly. But I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's that simple at all. I think Grizzly wins the belt here. I think we have a new extreme champion legend. I disagree. I won't go too far into it, but I really just think Rick always has a plan. We got we got Kyle all over the backstage, Kyle too, sorry, all over the backstage tonight, and I'm not a single unseen to be seen. Mm. And usually they're hanging around. Usually they're keeping up. They are making sure to stay unseen today. That means they're up to something. That means there is a plan. Maybe, maybe that extra week was all he needed to figure out the answer. Maybe... Maybe they are hoping on the, the adrenaline setting, uh, the, the adrenaline weaning off yes. and those broken ribs now really starting to ache, now really starting to drain that energy as he's trying to go about the day, maybe not trying to do too, too much. How, 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 good, how good is his win going to be right now? How good is she? Both of them bled buckets. Yeah. Let's be real. Leaders. Rook, Rook is not coming in 100%, No, but he's coming in closer to 100% than Grizzly is. No time limit in this rematch. There's going to be a winner. Grizzly and Rook squaring off in the middle of the ring, surrounded by the steel cage. Let's head to our main event. You gonna try rep weapons? Weapons. Here we go! Fight! Ding! And the bell has rung go. on the main event of the evening. Grizzly once again challenging Rook for the W3 Extreme Championship. Just a week ago, these guys did battle in one of the most hellacious matches in W3 history. 60 minute time limit draw. Exploding barbed wire death match. Nowhere to run this time. Nowhere to hide. No appearance. Nowhere to hide. Just... Oh my god! <laughs> One man leaves this cage a winner after beating the shit out of the other one. Nothing cowardice, no running away from your opponent. Every single cage match has a winner. One or else people would still be it. in the cage. Oh. Right to the back of the neck now, going for the cover quickly. One, not even a two count here in the early goings of this matchup. Yes, we've personally made sure that Gerald Kicks' nasty ass grease is all over that cage. Just in case someone decides to climb it, you will slip and oh, you will die. fall. You will die. <laughs> You'll fall in the Back water. and forth, here we go. Grizzly. Come on, Grizz. Being felled like a tree in the Yukon by Rook here tonight. I don't know if he's former, 100%. Former television champion, former tag team champion, looking to add the extreme championship to his accolades. I, I honestly thought that he was going to win a No Man's Land. I really hope that this cage that he's so familiar with gives him the extra power that he needs. Well, there's no, that, yeah, that extra power of those knees is what you meant to say. Grizz Knee finds his mark with one of them patented Grizz Knees. A two of them, and they're not even padded. No, man. He uses them for fucking people up with elbow drop. Low altitude came flying in from the side. Clubbing blow to the back. Five minutes has elapsed in this matchup. It's been all business thus far. Now, Grizz doesn't actually refer to this as a cage match. He refers to this more as a Laughlin City cage match. Yes, he does. Or just a Tuesday. Or just a Tuesday. Suplex there. Going for the cover. Maybe feeling that those ribs are damaged enough. Maybe moist. Possibly moist. Off into the robes. Big boot finds its mark, Jesus. leaving a skid mark across his forehead. And that second one. Oh. Keep running into those full speed, Rook. Rook's body slid. Oh my god. Grinsby! He hit it. Oh, he couldn't get to the cover. He's just warming up, is Rook. Let's <laughs> stay loose, Nexus. Going to an I'll ankle take your lock. Work Wait. <laughs> you, big dog? Anything to uh, anything to add? <laughs> no. Back suplex with that heel hook there, and it's not oh. enough. He tried to sneak it. Whoa. Little sneaky rook. 
And again, putting on the brakes. Now, Grizz has been going for suplex attempts. He likes using that suplex throw. It's interesting. I, I, he doesn't look like he can get get the strength that he normally has Whoa. to lift him. Yeah, big dog. He's got a rib poking him in the organs. Oh, God. Probably the heart. <gasps> oh, going for the oh. spine splitter immediately. Oh, denying the bitches any sort of pleasure. Rook, you are a sadistic bastard. How dare you. Those bitches. I don't think I've seen one back body drop this whole oh, show. No, they're so dry. Another burst at the seams, actually. <laughs> There's that power. Go range and then oh, stomp to the midsection, too. No. Ten minutes has elapsed in this cage match here. There will be a winner. No time limit draw in a cage. The ropes, maybe a big boot. No back body drop. They have exploded. Yes. Oasises are being ten, formed in the desert. Ten hairy bear bitches in the trenches. Bear bitches in the trenches. <laughs> Losing their fucking minds. The robes, that, sl that oh. sliding clothesline finds its mark. Grizzly, again, labored breath. Cannot, oh. probably working on a half a tank of oxygen. He's a bachelor, though. He is. Oh! oh! Couldn't find better, a better, better man with that DDT. Better man. Muso! That Crazy. elevated Yuranagi. One, two, is it? No. Yuranagi. It's true. I've been called that before. Today. For free. A second one! Oh! But can't, he can't get to the pin. He can't get to the pin. He's hurting. Oh, he's landing on his ribs while he does it, too. But now, building the momentum, there's that suplex toss into the ropes, into the cage, sliding down it. Stop throwing me. Back body no. drop. <laughs> hey. No. Elbow to the back of the neck. What does Grizzly have planned here? Maybe a Grizz knee? No. No, 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 no. Oh! Rook goes deep into that half package pile driver. One, is it enough? Two, is it enough? No, it is not. He took plenty of those at No Man's Land 3. He Although the damage was done. <laughs> yeah, right. He kicked out Hopefully. right the guitar leg and it was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he dropped right across the forehead. Spine splitter! He's got him up for oh, it! Champion. Yeah, no, come hit on! Him. Hit him! Why are you not pitting him, Grizz? Yeah. He's trying to debate maybe if it's not enough work. But having to pin right now and, and having to... Get to his feet. Exactly, and try to hold Rook's spot. Every single bit of that is wearing uh, Rook down, uh, too. Full sprint. Oh, Steve ahead. I think his game plan is to do as much damage as he possibly can and then get the oh. one that he needs. Fastball forearm. But Grizzly again going to the power. Backbreaker. I'm surprised he's got the strength to hoist him back up. Grizzly incoming lands. He's got to pit him. No. Oh, no. Pile driver finds the mark. That's a good old fashioned pile driver. Oh, yes. Cletus, get yeah. out of here. Cletus, I thought I buried you in the desert. Wheel your ass somewhere else. Torture oh. rag. Torture rag. Wait, what does he got? Spinning about. One, two, new champion. Whoa. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Uh, Brook, you are screwed. Oh fuck! Oh, look at that! He was—he can't—he oh, can't, he can't no, run. This is bad. Catching up to him now. Those ribs. Oh. This is bad. And they're weighing his options. Chris taking a look at Rook, seeing what can he do. Mm -hmm. Oh, and in Rook the time he has left. Yeah, exactly. Rook immediately going to the ribs. Ah! The trenches. Are at their, at their are, peak. Are, they're drowning. They're drowning in the trenches. I hope they know how to swim in there. Why are they making bird noises? Let them drown. Call for help. And then that elbow to the back of the ribs. <laughs> the seagulls are circling. <laughs> elbow again. Chris. Oh, yes. You, I'm, you're feeling it. Do something with that power. That is a desking for spare change. Punch to the back oh, of the head. Oh. Donkey stylings here in the main event. Oh, and then kick oh. in the back of the knee. Grizzly sends him off into the corner. What does he got? 
clothesline. Elbow. Fuck him up. Oh, he's calling him up. What has he got here? Oh! He's calling for the knee drop. No, what has he got? No! Another big boot. Why'd you teabag right after such an impressive move? Oh, to the back of the neck. The no, one, two, Chris. Chris. Oh, mistake for Chris Lee. Oh, Chris. <sighs> Critical mistake in the rematch. Rook retains in the cage match. Clearly, Grizzly not able to go 100% despite what Delta rates this match. The chess match was well thought out, Big Dog. The move last week was for the next move. And the the ribs, the absolutely damaged ribs, doing doing that much more pain throughout the entire last week, digging at him, dealing with his cardio, dealing with his air, and dealing with his ability to even keep up the momentum. You saw him go, what, an hour last week. Now, 21 minutes, and Grizzly couldn't breathe. That injury catching up to him, and Rook. You saw, you saw immediately the thinking man's extreme champ you saw immediately after a after a back body drop he was running for for a knee drop and he had to catch his breath and stopped he went up got up again and immediately went back down you saw it in his eyes That's grizzly had no more adrenaline what the fuck do i do he had nothing left the big boot should have went for the cover honest mistake and rook seeing that taking advantage of that and dropping him on his neck stacked on his knee crunching the ribs in the process and retaining his championship